Welcome everybody to another episode of Fun with Dumb, the show where we go through episodes mm. of real life events. Life, my brother. The yeah. realist. The realist. And I am joined by my co-host here, Richard Lee, Professor Richard Dr. Lee today. Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee, what are you a doctor of? Let's not talk about me today, Dom. Let's just, you know. No, we're always going to talk about you talk about and me. your khaki t-shirt that Yo. slightly blends in with your skin. <laughs> <laughs> I have a new thing going on right now. Yeah, However, what is this? I don't know. I, you know. It's like Clark Kent went to Desert Storm. He's got, uh, I don't know what's going on. He's got some on. peppering in the hair. He's come yeah. all natural. How do you like that? So. I actually really like it. I was like, wow. <laughs> you know? Why do you need that Handsome pocket? sir. Why do you need this that pocket on your shirt? You don't even know what I carry in here. What bro. do you carry it's in there? It's for his glasses. <laughs> Obviously, I know you don't carry any your heart on a sleeve because you have no sleeves. Relax, man. You, you do not carry your I heart on a sleeve. Today. I feel great today. You did, did you sleep late? I slept a little late. You definitely look like you slept a little late. I'm That's hair late. product from the night before. Why do people <laughs> say you look tired? I know that's, that's like rude. That rude is rude. Thing. But that's the same thing you just said to him. That's a, it is, that's but exactly we're allowed what... to do that. This is what oh, we do on I Fun think. with Dumb. I would never go up to like a random person, you know, out there, you know, in the real world, and be like, "Yo, you look tired." You look tired. That's rude, right? You look like, like you need a rest. If somebody said that rest. to you, that'd be rude. Um, I would, I would feel self conscious about the way I look more than anything. Right. I would think about what, what is this? Yeah. Why are they? I feel super me. self. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you're energized. Yeah, yeah. Well, you look exactly. tired. I'm you're like, like yeah, I, I feel actually great. fully rested. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I got 12 hours <laughs> of sleep. Yeah, okay, actually, maybe we should another of... shot of espresso. Um, but Rick, happy to have you here as always. Thank you. Bro. How was your? Uh... Look at me. I got coasters too. I, yo, I'm, I'm looking around. <laughs> I see what you did. What's the percentage spot? of people actually like using the coasters when you see it on the table? Do like people use the coasters? Yeah, you think? my question is, this isn't real wood. It's not. What is the use of this? What do you mean? Why is it not made out of wood? It's supposed to look like it's made like, out of wood. Like why do they print wood onto something like this when you could just buy a piece of wood and cut because it? Because it probably costs more to put it on wood. Really? Yeah. Wouldn't it? Even though this feels like a high quality thing already. You I know, think it's beautiful. I like it's how nice. It I like it too. I like camouflage. it. Okay, can you actually use the coaster though, Steph? Thank you. I don't like following rules. <laughs> mm, that's another thing. It's kind of like you put that on people. Even if you have a coaster, True. it's like yo, put your drink. Yeah. I I feel like, like, like on, people babe. tend to not instantly <gasps> put your drinks on a coaster when they, even when they see it. Kind of this is so right. You know. Are we coast? Stars? Like co stars? Like this coaster? <laughs> yeah, her, 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 this work. Multi syllabics. <laughs> Already? Already? Yo. Hold on. Sorry, we got to think of a know. better name for this multi syllabic uh, like, segment. Yeah. Let's think of some names for this. So. Multi syllabic. Bakes multi syllabic takes. No. Uh, <laughs> Yo, wait. Are you guys. That was a competition. I know. He's trying to. Um, I like multi All right. Oh, multi syllabics. That's exactly. <laughs> Wait, is that what you Ladies said? Ladies and gentlemen, I just don't Okay, me. okay, okay, okay. Oh. Multi syllabics. Mm. All right. Syllabics. Well, <laughs> Why is that? It's, 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 it's a pretty funny all. name, actually. Multi syllabics. Okay, multi syllabics. All right. Sta takes with multi syllabics. No, no, no. We're just multi syllabics. Fine. It's fine. All right. Yeah, multi syllabics <laughs> it is. So give her a word, Rick. Right now? Coaster. Ch Chose her Ooh. roaster, boast her, ter, grosser, mm -hmm. lows, dirt. Why are you so nervous? Lows, <laughs> lows, dirt, lows, dirt. Oh, lows, dirt, like lows, like Home Depot. Yeah. Soil from wow, low. she killed oh, that. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Gentlemen, okay right. we can move on. We can move on. Yeah, when you get a fire one, one, when you get a fire one, we can move on. Lows, dirt. Come that was, that was early today. So, Steph, uh, how are you doing? I'm doing good, man. I'm feeling great. <laughs> uh, you know what's funny? It's like Bart like Simpson. Today, what was that? Uh, like today, I'm wearing kind of like a schoolgirl outfit, and you got the glasses like a professor, dude. Uh oh, are you studious, baby. <laughs> Rhythm and flow 101. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, 
So and you got your, you know what? You got your professor like. You got the sub too. I got the sub. You are definitely sub. <laughs> I'm, the cool, I'm the cool teacher who rolls in the television like we're watching a movie today. <laughs> they're usually either quirky or they're creepy. Mm. <laughs> what What's the movies that the teacher always used to put on? You know, like you know when you have uh, substitute teacher, they're like, we're gonna watch a movie yeah, today. Yeah. Put yeah. away your books. But the movies were always like the same what's selection. What's the Carpe Diem one? Seize the day with Robin. Um, oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead Poets Society. Dead, Dead Poets Society. Society. Yeah, they always that's, put that on. That no, you know what? It's stand, School of Rock. Uh, school. Uh, I mean, I mean, Stand and Deliver. <laughs> oh, I didn't watch. I didn't that. watch. That. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. All right. yeah. It was an LAUSD <laughs> thing. It was LA. It's like a Latin Latino teacher who Dangerous comes. Dangerous Minds. Another. They one. didn't play Dangerous Minds. They play Dangerous Minds. Did they? Like, yeah. Really? Yeah. It's <laughs> literally like trying to imitate what the situation is. <laughs> I went to public. Oh, this is what I go through I every went to day. Public Yo, school. Fantasia. I got tired of that shit oh after a while, gosh. dude. Yo, music class. They would always put Fantasia on. There's only like two good scenes. That shit just kind of scare me, low key. Too. <laughs> the mushroom dance is when when they lose me. The brooms. Come on, the brooms with the buckets. That you love crazy. cleaning supplies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like when when Rick's alone at home, he has magical like cleaning supplies come to life and they help him clean his. Put on a hat. Did you ever leave your stream on before? Yeah, yeah. You have? Yes. What the fuck are you doing, Alex? Chill out, bro. I feel like I'm gonna walk in one day on him magical cleaning supplies <laughs> dancing and they're all just gonna drop. <laughs> oh man. Um, but but anything else new, um, Steffi? Uh, just been working and I redid my I was inspired by this room and I redid my room too oh. and for my streams I've, I put pictures up because of this nice nice so, nice you I, I never thought I'd be inspired um, interior design by you by you by me why not I'm a visionary vision no, is but, scary <laughs> no. okay, so, <laughs> I've seen the last the last few places you've lived and this is the first time you've really adulted and I like, did I did cleaned it up who I curated it bro when you yeah, wait so the here's the thing when you own a place you want to go in more on designing it you know what I mean? Because when you rent, you're like, I got to return oh, this. No, I design well, you rentals know too, bro. You design Come rentals? You going on the yeah, rentals? Oh, dude, I put in holes. What do you do? Of course, you're I putting holes? Anything. You're poking them? <laughs> yeah, I poke holes even in a rental spot. I like to switch up my feng shui every three months, three and a half months. You know what I you mean? You do. Yeah, you do. It's about like huh. 90 some days. It's like days. change what? the flow of the energy. Change the flow, yeah. the, you know, the air supply. A few months, you're light. on the left side of the bed and then JL's on the right side and then you guys switch it up. Yeah. You know the TV. I like having my my uh, workstation in a different spot. I like waking up in my house and feeling like, where the fuck am I? You know what I mean. I like that feeling. I right have, after you clean. I feel like utilizing the space is everything. Mm -hmm. And Steffi, you do that well. Your place is kind of small, but mm -hmm. you have a, and you have two couches. Yeah, I need to sell. I'm gonna sell that. Think I'm gonna you sell are that. With two couches. Two couches. Okay, Steffi. so can I tell you how I got those two couches? <laughs> yeah. Please. I actually had an old couch from Crate and Barrel and the back started coming in like inwards, like the, the fluffing. I contacted them and then they had someone come out, like mm. someone appraise it. And they said, um, we'll give you your money back. So they took the couch what? and then I got, so I got the money back and I got two couches. How did you, how did you approach two. it? Like, okay. Initially they said no. Exactly. How did you they flip it? They did say it? no. How and did then, you flip it? And then the Asian mom came out at me and my mom's always like, don't take no for an answer. Mm. So I said, no, okay. I will not take no for an answer. <laughs> no, okay. No, okay. <laughs> flip the I no never heard to that a one. okay. <laughs> just, yo, I just yo, but I will say Steffi is really good at haggling and negotiating. You know, You've like- seen it? You witnessed it. Oh, bro. Like, you know, my couch <laughs> over there- I oh, went. You were part of that couch. I was yeah. part of this. The, so, the, but she, she this we were at a discount store, so they can't really give discounts. We're already, already at the discount, discount store. store. It was Bob's right. discount. Yeah. So she's trying to like negotiate, it and I'm all like, I don't know why I get scared. I'm like, don't do that. <laughs> don't negotiate. They <laughs> can't. So you know, I'm the guy who's like, they can't go lower. Right. I don't know why. I'm like, they can't go lower. Please. <laughs> they can't, they can't. Pay more. Please, they can't go lower. <laughs> and she's haggling her ass off, and I'm just like, just. just Leave them alone. <laughs> Leave them alone. He's like, it's okay. And I turn and he's gone. The minute I start talking, he's gone. I'm hiding behind the couch. <laughs> he's like touching the mattresses. No, I just, I don't know why. I just, 
I'm not. I'm like the opposite. I get scared to haggle. My no. mom used to haggle all the time. I'm like, yeah, mom, yeah. don't do this. You're just a non-confrontational. Non-confrontational like to, you know, with the haggling. You gotta take rejection well, and I don't mind rejection. Maybe that's what it is. You know what I mean? Worst that could happen is a no. You yeah, I mean, a worst that could happen. Well, anyway, we she kept going. Anymore. She kept going, and they can't do nothing about it. In the end. Dude, they wanted to get her out of there. They're like, all right, take this couch cleaner. We'll throw this couch cleaner. And they gave us a couch I cleaner. Mean, how, do you, how do you make it lower, though? Like, ma'am, I can't go lower than 5,000. I would be like, really? All right, hold on, hold on. So we're going to reenact this, okay? Oh, Here we go. So, I don't know if I want to give out my secrets right now. <laughs> These Wait, are hold secrets. On. Hold secrets on. of what? These are the secrets. You don't want to help Sofa people secrets. save money right now? You don't help people save I, money? I do. Okay, here we go. Then just thirty. What, what are you selling then? What are you selling? Teach. I'm selling a couch. Okay, so here you yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, okay, here. Tell me okay. something. Some, something else. Uh, how about Rick's fridge refrigerator? Oh yeah, because yeah. yeah. he's built Rick's like a fridge. fridge. Yo, All right. Okay. All right. So Rick's fridges. Uh, Rick's fridge. Welcome to Rick's fridges. Uh, what's your name? Hi, I'm Stuffy. I see you looking at this model over here, the 703 YOX 2000. Yeah. What are you looking for? What kind of refrigerator? Uh, you know, I want something simple. Something simple. I mean, that one looks okay. I mean, but I see that there's a nick on there. Uh, this is the display one, you know? This is the display oh, one. I'll give you a free one. one. Yeah, these kids running around, you know. Oh, okay. But um, what's the price range? What's the budget that you Um, need? I'm looking... It's a little above my price range. Okay. It's well, a little above my price range. We can look at some other ones. <laughs> All right. Now this we're, is getting we're, too yeah, long. We're at the spot. This, we're at the spot okay, now. Okay, and now we're at the point. This is $2,000. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's definitely above my price point, but I don't like any of the other ones. Okay, I could so work can with I, you. Can we, you know what? I'm down to take that display. You're going to sell the display one? Yeah, the display is 15. The oh, it's 15? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's still like that Nick is not worth the 15. I mean, that's $500 Let's go. off. Okay, the... you know what? I'll give you cash for 1300 1300 yeah. Can we meet in the middle at 14 please? Ah, uh, no, it's not worth it. Because then it just, it makes no sense for me. Uh, Richard, is there a problem here, sir? Are you the manager? I am the manager. Is, yeah, uh, I don't know why okay? he's being mean to me. So I, what's I, the problem here? So I you, wasn't being mean. I was. Man. He he was telling me this is worth fifteen. I don't think this is worth fifteen. Well, I'm sorry, Dad. That is the price for the displays. We usually sell fifteen hundred dollars. Oh, is that where's that cardigan? Is that oh, vintage? Oh, thank you. I did just get this. It is wow. vintage. I got it at the Rose Bowl oh, flea great. market. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Back to it's fifteen hundred dollars <laughs> for the fridge, ma'am. Oh right! Oh yeah, yeah. Um, at thirteen hundred, I'll take it cash, and I'll get it off your. You I mean, don't this need is to already have this. a it's, discount this Nick. store. This. This is, what Nick up. are you look talking about? This Nick is barely a Nick, man. I mean, that's a, that's it's a Nick if I've seen one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fourteen fifty. Uh, wait. He said fourteen hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, <laughs> I need to go to the back. I'll be like, back. He's I'll new. For, He's new. I'll take it for thirteen hundred. If not, I'm walking out the door. <laughs> okay, maybe show I, you. I'm gonna tell my friends. My friends are in the need. They need refrigerator. Okay, no. okay, fourteen hundred, fourteen hundred. And I'll give you a good review. And we'll Great. take Thank the you. we'll take the money off of Rick's commission. Damn. Yeah. Hey, can you also try to get rid of the Nick though? <laughs> What Nicks are you? I'm okay, we will. Thank you. All right, that was good. Yeah, so that was good. Yo, that was it. That, that was, was it. That's that what went the there. Whole... The Nicks, <laughs> bringing up the Nicks. The Knicks. invisible imaginary Nicks. All right, all right. Not bad. I mean, she is relentless, though. I've been in some haggle situations. She is relentless. I want to see you haggle off. I have a haggle off with my mom. No, mm. I don't want to haggle your mom. No, no, no. I'm saying you and my mom. Haggle somebody get else price. and get the lower price. We gotta go to Korea because that's like a natural. Or to, where to do like we go? H Mart. Uh, you know those stores like in front of the the grocery stores. You gotta go over there. You can't haggle at a fucking. No, not a grocery store. But you know, like <laughs> you know how there's like the Korean plazas with like those fake stores. They're not real stores, kind of. You gotta go over there and haggle them. Well, great job, guys. That was that, a, even that was a that long was ass fucking that was scene. Funny. First that of all, that was a long oh, bit. Shit. I slipped on. All right, sorry. You okay, I slipped on the arm piece here. Is that kind of embarrassing when you're sitting on the table like this and you <laughs> and you're having a serious combo? Is that what happened? And you go, ah, ah, you just give it a stretch. I didn't know your foundation slipped. Uh, That's yeah. crazy. Um, one thing. I, so the other, I want to talk about this because I tweeted this um, two days ago. I ordered a pizza. <laughs> did not know it was a Korean pizza spot. 
And you know, I you hate, knew it was a Korean. I did pizza not. Spot. I did not know. How did they? Because I got. What was it named? Oh, I got a garlic chicken pizza. Oh man! But I didn't of- know it was Korean style. So when it came, of course, it has that sweet potato layer oh, that I fucking gosh, hate. Gosh, I never man. had it. I don't yeah, Korean pizza about. puts like the sweet potato thing, and it has a sweetness to it that I hate. I can't stand it. Korean pizza is the most extra pizza ever. There's so many. So oh, okay. wait, 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 wait. I think it was Thanks Pizza. I don't I think that's what it was. The pizza was good. That's What is that? The pizza was good. And I'm not going to shit on any businesses. I just, I, I'm, I'm talking about like Korean style pizza. I just, yeah, I'm not yeah. a fan of the sweet potato and pizzas. You know what I mean? I, what is this? A cake? What is it? It's not hypnotizing? Yeah. What's going that's on cool right looking. I want a pie, not a literal pie. Are Jesus. those pigs in a blanket as the crust? See, that's, the, that's being a little too much right there, bro. So how was it though so the we'll pizza. get we'll get the pizza you never tried a korean style pizza no right? i never Stuff tried too. a korean style pizza yeah and they come with these sweet pickles everything's like sweet the fuck why, out is, of here. why is everything sweet when man? i get a korean pizza i turn into a new yorker i'm like get the shit the fuck out of here <laughs> <laughs> yeah i remember eating pho in korea and the sriracha was sweet it was like gochujang now you don't get pho in korea but was it actually I mean, sriracha <laughs> Oh sweet! Oh, you're saying sriracha? No, how do you how do you pronounce sriracha? sriracha? Is it sriracha or Not sriracha? She said was the proper it's way. It's sriracha. S- sriracha. Yeah, but you know, sriracha. 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 Okay, is sriracha considered a hot sauce? <laughs> just what said did it you weird say? A Swiss watch? Sri-, Sri Lanka. Is Sri Lanka? <laughs> No, is, is it considered a hot sauce or is it considered just like a ketchup almost? Hot like sauce. A, I think to some people it's hot sauce, but to us, man, because we use it so much, it's just another condiment, bro. It doesn't you, even go into the hot sauce. You category. do, you know, you eat a lot of sauces, and I worry yeah, about your sodium no. level. Sometimes. I, I, I've cut That's down. That's what keeps me up at night. Your sodium levels. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I worry about your sodium levels. No, my sodium levels. Are right. We used to go out to restaurants, and when mm. people would dare you to down a thing of soy sauce, mm. you do it. Not soy sauce. Yeah, sometimes bro. soy sauce. Sometimes okay, a concoction once. of hot sauces would be yes. like, "I dare you! I give you two dollars if you do this." He's like, "You were the it. one that told me to do it." Yeah, I and know, but it's a test. Now, it's a test. It's a test? Years later, what? You mutated years into a, year, a buff man or what? Later, you're judging you're, him for you, something Yeah, you wanted something him to you, do? You lit the fuse and yeah, it blew up. And but now you're when you actually about the did it, I was disappointed because you failed the test. I didn't know it was a test, man. What was I thought the test it was, for? I was the to, test I is for him to, to turn it down and be like, no, that's not good for my body. I don't oh, want to do it. So you cared about him. I did care about it. But it was masked under just like, you know tomfoolery so if he was a good friend he would have also taken if it was a good friend he would have taken half with me yeah that's true you you made him take the whole he made me take the whole thing there's multiple memories i have of dumb saying he's not gonna do it and he'd walk away could we actually i would like to implement a challenge right now to you i challenge you to not drink Mm. for one month straight wow wait do we starting tomorrow Starting tomorrow, not drink for one month straight. Mm. And if you really do this, I will give you five hundred dollars. Wait, okay. I want one too. No, 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 because you don't drink. drink. You don't no, no, drink. What are you talking give, about? Give, give me a different. Drinking. You could give me a different. A different one. challenge. Yeah, I'll take the challenge. Okay, hit I'm the wall. Hit the wall on beat. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Damn. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, the psycho. See what I'm saying right now? <laughs> Get to Twitch. Get to Twitch. Uh, um, no, 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 for Rick. So one month do you yeah. sober. Like he, do you feel like he drinks too much? Is that what it is? Yeah, I think he drinks a lot. I, I mean, do. I don't think he drinks too much. I mean, I just, I just want to no, challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's one month. Challenge. Okay, so, so, so one month. Honor system. What are we gonna do? A breathalyzer every day? How we gonna... honor system? Yeah, <laughs> no, I trust actually, that you'll. Yeah. You know, if you break it, you'll tell me. No, yeah, you know? so, of course. I like how they're creating. so one month. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it right here. One month, no drinking. I'll give you five hundred dollars, Rick. Starting tomorrow. All right, sure. Someone, what month? Someone double tomorrow. that. Someone double it for him. I don't know why he said that. No, no. I, I feel like I'm on a Twitch. Yeah, yeah. Why are you trying to haggle the Twitch? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, cool. Are or do you take this challenge? Yeah. I'm okay. Done. Here we go. Take the challenge. That's awesome. All right. You're not. What? Me too. Uh, you're not in the deal. Wait, dude, relax. I like, to, I like to be challenged. Can someone give me? A Dumb challenge? gets healthy and one? judges all his friends' habits. That's actually so true. <laughs> Uh, guys, um, so also just to kind of uh, throw this out there, uh, we have um, guests coming up too. So tomorrow, uh, to next week, I mean, we have Wolf Tyler, wow, amazing artist. 
And then uh, the week after that, we have Stevie Weeby. Ooh. So next two weeks, we'll have guests joining us in this fourth seat right here. And we'll have a blast, right? That's going to be fun. It's going to be it's nice, Stevie. We it's overdue for Stevie. We we haven't had man. And Wolf Tyler's a sick ass artist. She's half black, half Korean. It'll be kind of cool to dive into that part too. You know, so yes, <laughs> Stevie Weeby. Do you call him Stevie Weeby? Like when he's here, do I introduce myself? <laughs> Mr. Weeby. <laughs> <laughs> the pleasures are mine, Mr. Weeby. <laughs> I be Steffi. You be Weeby. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Yo, did you hear about the uh, glass bridges in China? You know the thing that they like build yeah. on the edge of the mountain? It's for tourists usually to have a, a glass bridge where you can kind of look down mm -hmm. and it broke. It broke, dude. Multiple. There's there's one where like the wind was so strong that the gusts well, knocked look at out this picture the glass right here. Damn. platforms. That's so scary. Underneath. Isn't that... <gasps> can you imagine? That guy's hanging on, right? So the glass broke under him. Life. There's videos online of even when the glass is intact, they just become paralyzed. You know what I mean? Because it looks, the vertigo kicks so in. So they're all breaking, like not just one or just that That's bridge in general. I mean, I, I always hear about like another one breaking, you know what I mean? Or like, I don't know why they keep making it. Look at this 15 man. up, to, like Chan, Chan Wai says, mm. them gets healthy and judges all his friends habit. Yes, that's what friends do. We judge each other. Yo, Shan Wise, it's time to ban Wise, huh? Shan Wise, put down those damn fries, huh? Shan Wise, it's time to ban Wise, huh? Shan, Shan, Shan. All right, sorry. All right. Yeah, yeah, I battled you. So stop giving me that Yo, attitude. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo! Alex. Is Are that we even real? allowed to show this? Right That's now? me kicking Shan out of the, the <laughs> chat. That's me kicking Relax. Shan out of the chat right there. What is that thing flying off right there, man? That's crazy. That's crazy, man. That, you know, that's the scary thing. You never know what any of these exhilarating Every things, right? Every time that I'm on a roller coaster and I'm on the incline, I'm always thinking, like, when was the last checkup? Is there, like, a nut or, like, a bolt somewhere that's, that's loose? You never think about that? I do if I'm sitting next to you in the same <laughs> chair. <laughs> I'm like praying out loud. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, we, me, you know, me and Steffi went skydiving. And when you do that, it's like oh, yeah. you don't know, right? Like you don't know if the chute's going to open. Yeah, but then you have a backup chute. Nah, I mean, you don't. You, you don't, don't know. You don't know. You don't have a backup shoot? Well, you got the guy on your back. He's, yeah, you he's the, the backup. The back. he's but the I'm backup saying in general, I, I think it's pretty risky. You never know anything that can happen. I felt like so. when I went up there, I just was like, if I die, I die. It was already at that point. <laughs> Wait, that's how you felt right yeah, now? Yeah, that's why I felt numb. I was just like, if I'm going to mm. die, it's, I'm already up there. It's going to happen. Right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You can't, you can't yeah, be afraid. No, right, you can't control right. any you're of right. it. Once you're up there and that. You feel that on a roller coaster when you're right here, too. Yeah. You're like, fuck it. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> but do you feel like accomplished when you actually get away with it? You know what I mean? Like you did it yeah, one time. That's how sure. I felt. I felt like I got away with it. Like mm. I got, I cheated death or something. You know what I mean? Do you get off on getting away with things? <laughs> no, dude. What you do you just, mean? You just said that right get, I didn't say I get off on it. I said, <laughs> yes, you did. You did. did I say get off on it? <laughs> no, his eyes said it. His, his eyes, eyes were it. like, it's like I got away with it. <laughs> like you stole a car I, I, or something. I got away with it. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was dad. Alex, you want to go skydiving with me? I cheated death. Because he Alex, hates, yeah, he talks about heights. You, get, you want to go skydiving? Yeah, I'm not a big uh, heights guy, and that's just, you know, full sending it. So I think I'll pass on that. Wait, what did you just say right now? Yeah, what do it's you full mean? sending it. You know, like uh, there's skydiving, there's bungee jumping, all these sort of like little thrill, thrill things. Um, I'm not asking you. We're going, bro. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. We're going to go to OC. Bet. I've never gone. You know what I mean? You're going to go faster because you're like a dense person. Mm. But then they'll probably have a lighter tandem guy, right? I could see his hair flailing. Just oh, like. should we go to? <laughs> no, says, Alex looks like the, the instructor. Like this is how instructors yes! look. Yo, we yes! park. We park there, and then he unzips, and he's yeah. Just Alex, put yourself on the wide That's camera real hilarious. quick. Let's, let the people Come take on. a look at. This is what my instructor looked like right here. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I keep staring at it for like five seconds. Right, this is what my instructor looks like, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 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 all right, all right, all right. Oh, man. Oh, Lord, Alex. Alex, uh, how was your week, bro? 
Uh, week's good. It's uh, it's still Asian Pacific American Islander Heritage Month. I think the acronym <laughs> oh changed again. Oh my gosh, bro. Yeah, yeah, but, it changed uh, again? No, really? no, no. It's a, I've seen an APA and then APII or APAI. Yeah, it, it keeps changing. API. What is it now? Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month. I think AAPI, but I think I saw the A, an A and an I Alex. mixed up. How was your week, man? <laughs> <laughs> Busy. Have, 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 having, having, a, having a great old time. He was like, uh, APB Dubai. <laughs> How was your fucking week? It was awesome. You know, I'm starting to get some exercise. Uh, the exercise yeah. is slowly coming along. Okay, let me um, tell you this. This is what pisses me off about Alex. Like I swear to God. Because so we went hiking, right? Mm -hmm. And this motherfucker was dying, like yeah. huffing and puff, rolling in the dirt and all this shit. <laughs> so I'm, you know, and I'm, it's fine. It's his first time. Yeah, you know, yeah. I wanted to exercise more. A couple of days later, we go play tennis, right? Yeah. And he's fine. He's having, he's good. You know, he's good at playing tennis. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, and then on the ride back, I'm like, you gotta exercise more, Bob. She's like, Psh. like he thinks he's good now. Like he's like, I'm good at tennis. I'm an athlete. Right, 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 I'm right, like, right. shut the fuck up. Oh my god. And, and I'm like, nah, come hiking with me weekly. No, what do you mean? Like you saw me playing tennis on fucking John McEnroe. Right. Like get the fuck out of here. This guy gets so, so lost, cocky, so you, so like lost. so cocky with an instant. You know what I mean? Like shut Answer your ass question. up, bro. Dumb. Did you lose to Alex? I did lose to Alex too. Yeah, I did lose to Alex. <laughs> I lost to Alex, but that was two on two. I didn't lose to him one on one. We gotta play one on one. We right, haven't played right, one right. on one yet, so we. Do can you guys one. all? Is it overhand serves right now? Yeah, we overhand serve. Oh, yeah. Why? Okay. I want to see you play. I've never done. I wanted an, to go. I've never done an athletic. No, we did. We played. I mean, you've like we moved refrigerators baseball. and stuff. But. We've, we've, you know, we fought, you know. But no, definitely, I, I want to go. Uh, you invited me yesterday, and then. <sighs> Why don't we go today? Should we go today? I'm tonight? down to go today. To go tonight? I'm down to go after we, you know, get a little coop up and a soju and then let's go. I'm down. You have a bet of being a sober for a month, bro. Starting tomorrow. You're starting tomorrow. And you know, if you lose, you owe me five hundred dollars. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That That's was how mistake? bets work. Isn't that how bets work? I thought it was just like an opportunity for me to get five, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, there has to be a little bit of a reason, yeah, you know, like yeah, no, bro, it's easy. Okay, how about this? How about this? How about no, this? No, 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 no. no we'll do this. On it. Big easier. So if you uh, if you win, you'll get five hundred dollars. Stay mm. sober for if if you drink, you owe me two hundred fifty. So only half. All right, that's fine. Why don't you guys both just do it and both don't drink? He doesn't really drink, really. He drink what? I drink. That's like I bullshit drink. that he says every week, and then. But the bet is not me. The, the truth not... is, he drinks. You drink now, right? Yeah, but the bet isn't on me. It's on him. So I'm just saying, why don't you both? Yo, do tells it? Rick to drink soy sauce. You need to chill on the sodium. <laughs> Nah, but you're right. I got, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, cool. That's I got it. Yeah, easy. How about Steffi? Should we give Steffi one? What, what uh, how about that? this? She has to write a 16 bar verse to wow. share on the show by by a month. I'll put a hundred in that. Okay. How much are you putting in? I'm gonna put two hundred dollars. Why not five hundred? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's the opposite. You just, gotta, you just gotta write a rap. <laughs> no, that's a lot. That's a lot. How much do you get paid to write? Yeah, but verses? there's a nick, bro. There's a nick. I want to get. I would give you two hundred fifty dollars. That's it. That's my final deal. Why are you? Ha Why am I being <laughs> pressured right now? I don't have to do this. I have to write a verse. I don't have to do this. No, no, no. I want. If you write a sixteen bar verse in four weeks, memorized. Do I have to memorize? That's another. That that's you, another. Yeah, that's a thousand dollars. Okay, okay, okay. A thousand dollars. I want a thousand Should we have her memorize it or not? Wow. I mean, okay, that's chat. A lot. You guys say in the chat. Should she memorize Give it or no? Give them a number. A thousand, not. Why? Why did? Why so did, she, does she have to memorize a verse, or can she read the verse? Oh, memorize. She can read it off. Oh, Someone memorized. actually said she can read off. Okay, okay. No, I think it has to be memorized. Okay, All right, so, so how much? Then? Sixteen bar verse memorized. Two hundred fifty dollars. No, wait. No, you said two hundred. Okay, okay, okay. Have we'll do five hundred. Do we have any haggling music you can put on? Okay, let's do five hundred. I'll do it for seven hundred dollars. No, 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 no. Five. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> now it's seven hundred. What the hell is this, dude? You know. All right, hold on. Who do you think you are, Lil Wayne? Now, <laughs> <laughs> all right, five hundred. Okay, five hundred dollars for sixteen bar verse memorized. 
Okay, and then you said you were throwing a hundred. I heard that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> wow. Well, you hit throwing a hundred for that. What, the, the the sofa cleaner. She wants the sofa cleaner for yeah, me. Yeah, you actually said it. It's I did, it's I recorded. Did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's recorded. Cool. I'm, okay, I'll do it. Memorize. No mess ups. No, no nicks. mess ups. Wait, what do you mean, no mess ups. No mess ups. You gotta get No mess ups. Like, yo, yo, oh hold up. No, you get one try. You get one try. No mess ups. All the way. But you're not even. You don't have to be on beat or anything. You just say it a cappella. You oh, know what I'm saying? So like, what's an example? Can you like? What do you mean a cappella? So like what being like yo my name is Steffi Bake mm. don't be fake you're overweight you know like just you gotta keep going you don't have to you know what I'm saying you don't gotta like what's this like, motherfucker pointing at me <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> you, you like just keep going you can't be like yeah I'm Steffi B oh fuck you can't you can't yeah, do that yeah let me start you know? over yeah, let me start yeah, all you over you can't start over you just gotta go straight through mm, it you only get one, one shot, shot. Do, do not, not miss your chance to blow. blow this opportunity comes once in a lifetime so you know. Boom. All right. I think we got it, man. Okay, I so do you want to accept the challenge or not, Steph? Fine, I'm accepting it because I can't turn go. down the challenge. I'll do it. If you mess up, you but owe us $50 I stumble, each. I could stumble once. Should we give her a one? one we'll give her a one, okay. one stumble. God, one stumble. Damn. Okay. We'll give you I've one never. Stumble. I've literally. How does she have uh, us? Yo, how what does the she? Fuck? Wait, she doesn't have us. Hold on. I've so never. It went from two fifty <laughs> to, to seven hundred, and then seven hundred dollars <laughs> with one retry. Yo. How did you do this? Wait, how did you do that right now? <laughs> I felt guilty. I was like, you know what? But the thing is, I've never performed. All I'm right, it's over. It, you won and I'm already. About to do it live. What else are you what trying to get out of this? What else? I'm just saying. Just She's saying. like, if I don't have a short 58. She's not even a rapper. She's got paid more than us. <laughs> and when we started rapping, dude, what in the world? Bro, she got paid more. All right. Than well. the first half okay, of Okay, so we shows. got two challenges here. Sweet. Should What's I give myself a challenge too? No, yeah, we, we'll give you a challenge. We'll give you a challenge. challenge. Okay. For sure. Give us a challenge. Something that he doesn't. All right. Um... <laughs> We have to no 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 no. I need to think of something good. Yeah. Chat, help me out. I, I feel like it's something like Dumb has to be nice you know, to Alex. Honest, Dumb is super nice yeah, to Alex. He's actually nice nah, to I'm Alex. Not taking that yeah. challenge. It has to be something where he has to sit and l listen to people talk and mm. and respond like a like a human, not a right. robot. <laughs> not to be a judgmental dick for a month. <laughs> and we'll give you that's my <gasps> thing. Oh my god, that's so good. You can't eat out once this whole month. Ooh. Or order. You have to cut Yo, me. that's it. <laughs> That's yeah. it. No Postmates cook. for a month. You gotta cook uh, no. everything. No Postmates for a month, bro. I can't do that. I can't do that, bro. I'm gonna starve, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna starve. Well, you've made enough What do you mean you're gonna starve? You? Weren't you in the LA Times in the food section? Yeah, Richard? before takeout. <laughs> I was being acknowledged as a guy who orders takeout and supports local restaurants. <laughs> nah, dude. You're gonna have to cook for a month. He's gonna lose so much weight, dude. I can't do this, Come bro. On, this man. is this is to fuck up my whole. Oh, poor baby! Yeah. You can't oh cook God, you at can't, home. You can't oh make a pop with a kimchi. You call me a fridge. At least I use one, man. Come Seriously, on, just come bro. through. You know, nah, get, fuck get little, that. I'm greens. not doing that one. I'm not doing that one. All right, wow, That's what a little wild, bee. Dude. I'm a, I'm a. How call about this? How about this? No takeout for two weeks. Not a month. We'll give you half the duration. I'll do that if I could start two weeks from now to prep myself. <laughs> you do that? You're gonna meal. How about it two weeks from now? Open no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm saying like just to kind of mentally prepare. <laughs> Yeah, I could be keeping my face straight for that one. I could even keep my face straight for that one. Yeah, try having No, but I'm saying in two try weeks from now, us. I'll stock up on groceries and we'll start then. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I could kind of like How about some YouTube we work tutorials out and then we, we cook together. We'll figure it. Yeah, let's you do know? that. We can do that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll start cooking together. Yeah. That way <laughs> I stay read, sober. What if you read all the books you actually ordered last <laughs> month? <laughs> Yo, yeah, the challenge is <laughs> stop being great Gatsby with it. Read we, your shit, dude. You know what we stop should do? Stop going to old bookstores. Stop putting and it on your Instagram that you got books <laughs> about health and instead read them. <laughs> hey, no. why why don't we actually have a uh, fun with dumb book club where we do one book a month? Like, what do you think? But you First of read, all, let's, let's that's why it'll keep me accountable. It'll, we'll all read and we'll discuss it. How about that? <laughs> all right, how about that? You wait, wait, that? Don't change the subject, bro. You're not gonna order. Yeah. You're not gonna order out. No, for two no, weeks. no, no. I'm, I'm gonna start that in two weeks, though. Mm. It's a two week challenge. So for you guys, you, it's a month starting now. Okay. Do you tr First of all, do you trust that he would 
not like I'm, I'm coming over every day checking his yeah his i don't gar- trust garbage. like i feel like you would you're the type of person i wouldn't lie dude. Like this. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> i think you kind of would actually <sighs> unfortunately i think i would too <laughs> Come no on, bro. dude we get to see your uh, Postmates like receipt, the history, and all that. I think you could do it. <laughs> he's gonna get a, Cause, yo, He's this, gonna ask Alex to this come whole over. Thing. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Alex, can you come over and order something for me? It's like Alex is like, you know, I could just go and grab it. I'm like, no, no, no just, I got to Postmate it. Uh, uh, oh, okay. Well, let's go into this. This past weekend, Mother's Day. Mm. Uh, what did you guys do for Mother's Day? Nothing. I'm away, man. I'm away. Did you call your mom? mom? No. Like when you oh you didn't call her you call no. your mom why how come you didn't call her I'm I'm a surprise her with something I'm working on something right now What are you gonna surprise her with I can't tell right now she's watching Is she watching I think so Oh Hi Emma Hi Miss Hi, Lee Annyeonghaseyo Okay Annyeonghaseyo Do what you gonna say yeah Annyeonghaseyo Alex you say hi Annyeonghaseyo <laughs> Oh my God The did fuck I? dude oh Siri has better pronunciation <laughs> What the fuck was that <laughs> Holy shit, dude! Lee. I say something to Miss Lee. 안녕하세요, Mrs. Lee. 반갑습니다. Oh, that's uh, pretty good. Okay, how about you? Now Alex's turn. 안녕하세요, 반갑습니다. What? Like I, I got, you say it. I got, you say I got say offended it. for some reason. <laughs> shit. Hey, John, you, you go. Say it. Let me hear your best. 안녕하세요, 반갑습니다. 내 이름은 Tom Pounder입니다. Sound like a North Korean reporter. <laughs> <laughs> the imperialist. <laughs> well, uh, Steph, what did you do? Mm. My mom didn't want to go out. This is the first like Mother's Day. She didn't want to like go out out. Um, and so. Uh, you would go to a restaurant usually or what? Go to a restaurant. I've actually taken her to travel. I've taken her to like New York or like um, San Francisco is, a, is like a thing i did once with her oh cool like yeah, a trip? shop yeah shopping spree yeah, yeah i did the whole thing mm. it's, it's always fun like parents love that like traveling with them i think i've never done a like a trip with my mom since, since i was like like when i was a kid obviously but i haven't done a trip maybe that's something I I, that would take like you know our bonding to another a trip like you mean like like a weekend trip oh, somewhere wow. or maybe go to korea with my mom my mom hasn't gone to korea in about 30 years or so really yeah take, over 30 years yeah you know outing with your parents is a whole different animal bro it's not like dinner it's like you know you have to spend a couple days with them you know you have, I, to, do plan, that? You have to plan to take them places outside of just food yeah remember the discussion that we had like uh last episode where i was talking about like yeah i don't spend much time with my mom and i hate that sometimes when i'm with her I get stressed out mm-hmm. or annoyed or whatever. And I told myself going into this mom Mother's Day like lunch and I was gonna like really like be present, listen, <laughs> tell myself not to get mad about right, things. Right, right, right. And I did. And it you really got no 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 tell myself I didn't, I didn't. Oh, okay, I didn't. Okay. And just I was just patient with her, you know? Nice. And it worked out so great. We had lunch and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna force myself not just this lunch, but to spend the whole day with her. So I was like, Mom, let's go shopping. Yeah. So we went to the Grove and I let her have a shopping spree. Right. She just just and I had to force her to buy things cuz right. she was in that like Korean haggle mode. She's, She's looking the at price. the she keeps looking at the <laughs> price tag for everything. I'm like, "No, no, 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 no. If do you like it? Right. If you like it, buy it." So I had to like force her to shop. But we spent like four hours there just just nice. going through stuff and this is like a busy day at the grove or something you know? that's hard for like a male like a man to just even go shopping with yeah i was like and long. i kept telling you her to take mean? your time wow i kept saying take your time and she's what were going, you doing while she was looking i was with her you mm-hmm. know or i'd go like you know i left my phone in the car wow i was about to say yeah i left my phone in the car wow. whoa to, to be fair i accidentally left it in there <laughs> <laughs> so i accidentally left it in there but it was kind of like a sign right like i accidentally left my phone in the car yeah so i had to be kind of present that's amazing which was kind of crazy right yeah. and you have to be near her because she can't call exactly you, you know that I mean? she can't you know I, I, if i can't we lose right, right, each other right, right. we're gonna panic Wait, again. Where is <laughs> Where is the- so that was interesting that somehow i happened to leave my phone in the car 
And I was just with her the whole time, letting her just freely shop, take her time. That's a beautiful Did she thing, ask man. you for advice on clothes? Like, were you helping her with the outfit? Yeah, I, 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 we bought like a couple sneakers at the Nike store. Mm. Um, she had a couple fits. And I was like, if you like, she kept bringing up other things that had nothing to do with if she likes the piece, you know, yeah. the price, or maybe there's a better one here. I was like, no, if you like it, just get it. So we were just. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's good, man. I mean, the whole being patient and, you know, not not getting mad with your mom. That's a, it's a good step. I think it was a huge step for me. I'm yeah. not even going to front. Got, this was know, like a huge thing for me. Like, I, I really felt so good about it. Dude. Yeah. So you, you start with your parents and then it'll move on to your friends. You know what I mean? And the people around you. What can I do to better, like, well, exactly how what can you I be a better mom? friend to you guys? Exactly what you did for your mom this weekend. Okay. Like, the same, same thing going in, you know, just not being so irritable. Shopping um, sprees, yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> Calm the fuck sprees, down. Yeah. You know, <laughs> add three hundred more dollars to the sober uh, contest. No, no. So uh, let me ask you. Uh, let's start with Alex, because you know, Alex. I feel like you know I've been giving him a hard time lately because mm -hmm. I have high expectations. I'm not an easy person to work with, you know. So, what can I do to be a better boss, Alex, and a better friend? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, boss or friend? Be yeah. Both, both okay. boss and like leadership role. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. just to be better. I'm not gonna lie you've always took care of me whatever it is whether it's on the road around la like whenever we go out you know you always pick up the bill like you always take care of me so like i'm i'm sitting he pretty right now i just like how much job. are you he paying sound, alex no the table he sounds right now. like a scared son talking about, <laughs> a scared korean son I talking about the their stairs. father and if they say the wrong thing they're going home and <laughs> the chat the chat is yeah. like alex blink twice <laughs> <laughs> If this is in your free will, yo, he literally that was written, handwritten. <laughs> you just printed. He that takes out. care of me. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb is the greatest. It reminds me of like when I was in elementary school and I'd get like a beating during the weekend yeah, for like yeah, my yeah. grades, and then they, my my friends are, or my my teachers like, "How are you doing today?" I'm, like, I'm doing great. My house life is wonderful. Uh, I love my mom. Uh, I can't live without her. And um, dictator you. Dumb is the supreme being. <laughs> The family chemistry. Well, is, thank you, Alex. Is there anything else that, I mean, just say something. Yo, yeah. if you don't say anything now, forever <laughs> hold your peace, say, bro. Hey, Alex, say something not nice. Uh, he says it under let's his some, breath. Let's get some, get some more music going. Think uh, that'd Whoa. be cool. <laughs> Whoa. That doesn't have to do with, that has to do with him, <laughs> well, not fucker you. has me furious. <laughs> Yo, that infuriated me. Right oh now. my god, how fucking oh dare you? Stay in your fucking lane, Alex. <laughs> Stay in your fucking yo, lane. You don't stay in your goddamn department. If you just bro, you just know what I have right to now. fucking endure creatively, motherfucker? Jesus oh Christ. My god, oh my god. Where's dude. Tony? Where the fuck is Tony? <laughs> Get Tony back. Get man. Tony back, dude, man. I pissed off for you. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right. Okay. Alex, man, with that, do you have a fucking Asian fact or something, man? Okay. Yeah. Something... With that said, we are going to Alex's ancient Asian facts. Ooh. All right. So we're going to Korea for this one. We got uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, only the Korean version. You can play <laughs> as Finkel. So let me Ooh. That. That's kind of crazy. Wait. So you could play as a K pop group on Tony Hawk. Is this new or old? No, this old is one old. has to be on PS2, and it has to be the Korean version. It's this this, this always edition. existed? Bullshit. Yeah, this yeah, always special, existed. It's a special edition, video or Korean it's not version. real. Bro. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Um, me so show crazy. us. So you, this is all on the screen, right? On on the chat screen. Put it all on the chat screen. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That's cool. So Finkel was a K-pop group in the '90s, right? <laughs> and you're saying you on Tony Hawk 2 Korean version. You could at, you were able to play as this K-pop group? Yes. Huh. Oh my god. What That's the fuck? Crazy. This is crazy, dude. Wow. Wait, what year is this? They were ahead of the curve right now. Wait, I don't understand. So just a Korean version as in like it's exclusive. You can only buy it in Korea. Oh yeah, my only god! The, oh. Only the Korean edition of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Yep. This is so interesting. And this is for sure. You fact check this. Uh yeah. That's a this is a thing. Look, oh this, my this is the god right now. this is not like a mod or anything it's like a, a programmed in-game thing you can play as finkel this is That's incredible crazy, what a in random Korea. thing they did yeah <laughs> what a random thing wow that is amazing thank dude. you alex that was well, that, was that was actually, actually good that was an amazing fact thank god we're talking cool. about ancient bears and shit <laughs> whatever the fuck <laughs> that's what i'm talking about that has been alex's ancient asian, asian facts, facts. 
<laughs> Thank Thanks, you, Alex. Alex. That was cool. That was really cool. That was cool. Hell yeah. All right, man. you redeemed yourself. Fucking Alex. All right. <laughs> All right. I say dang em, wang em one more time. Um, okay, guys. Uh, well, please call in the Discord. We want to talk to the people. I heard you had a little announcement about the uh, the new thing that you got. What new thing? A box of some sorts, no? Oh, yeah. Okay, here's a new thing, guys, on the show. Uh, I got a P.O. box. I got a P.O. box. <laughs> you caught that one, really. Well, remember we're talking, like, we've been talking about having a P.O. box probably for over a year, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, Our love language is gifts. <laughs> <laughs> all right steph relax all right yo we're gonna go through the pack it's like steph <laughs> but, so here's the problem when i opened up the p.o box apparently you have to send it to the name it was registered under and i, I registered under my edgar? name no no okay okay <laughs> don't send it to edgar, edgar. <laughs> but john park send it to john park jay could you write that in alex into the notes uh Aww. so unfortunately right as of right now you can't write it to fun with dumb yeah it went, when i'm gonna change that yeah, it's kind of personal your whole your whole name yeah it's fine it's fine yeah. it's not my it's not my address it's the p.o box address so right. so you're gonna have to send it to this address you could do j-o-n or jonathan park or john park you can do jonathan edgar dumbfounded park if you want <laughs> it just has to have the name john park or jonathan park in it guys all right i'm sorry could you just put john park j-o-n park or something so we're gonna put the PO box on the screen right now, and this is the address, guys. And we'll put it in the um, the notes section of the, I mean, the info Discord. description section of the YouTube page as well. Okay. Um, but here it is, guys. Wow. John Park. That's the address, the PO box address. I don't know why it doesn't say PO box. It has a full address of the PO box place, but whatever. The official phone with dumb PO box is nine four one South Vermont Avenue, number forty four, Los Angeles, California. Guys, uh, so send letters, artwork. Don't you know? Little no nice things. No yes. food. Don't no do food. food don't guys. do food unless you know it's I mean? unless it could be food if it's not cooked. If yes. it's like yeah, don't do Tupperware. <laughs> yeah, if I get don't one do Tupperware, uh, you could do whatever. Just send us nice things if you want, and we'll share it on the show too. We'll like cushions. Mm. we'll share. We won't open and maybe tell the show or something. Alex, and could it, you go to the overlay real quick so we can show? Some of the artwork. If you send us artwork, we will put it in this section over here. You see these little Look at these little shelves, shelves baby. Throw it on here. The shelves are empty, so we could put stuff on there. Exactly. Put it on there. Have a little contest. We'll do know. an unbox unboxing segment on. We'll unbox it on the show. Oh, yeah. So ASMR send us stuff, guys. Send. You could send stuff directly. You know, he's for expecting gifts. <laughs> 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 you can spend, uh, send stuff directly to Steffi here. Please. Maybe mm. a book of rhymes. Clothes, that, rhymes. Meat yeah. composition. Uh, to Rick here. Yo, you chill, can man. even send stuff to Alex. Woo! He'll never receive it, but you can send stuff to him. <laughs> 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 you can send stuff to me. So the whole squad is here. You know, I put the, put the address one more time for everyone. You could screenshot this, guys, if you guys want. Put it on the full screen. Shoes. Uh, Do your best go. radio voice, go. Here's the address, guys. Address one more time. To FWD and Alex, we'll put this also Box. on the. Uh, let's put this John on the description Park. for the YouTube page and the Discord as well. One yeah, yeah. South Vermont <laughs> Avenue, number forty-four, Los Angeles, California nine triple zero six. And now back to you, Stephen. All right, and that's it right there, guys. That was uh, nice, dude. Thank put you. the discord um hit us up guys we want to take some calls we want to take some calls talk to you guys let's not run this one too long guys you know but we'll have fun with it <laughs> oh i get it <laughs> <laughs> we'll have fun with it we'll have fun with it we're getting done with it all right um before we take some calls, should we actually chat a little bit longer? Let's, yeah, let's I want to chat. chat with you, bro. What do you? What's on your mind, man? Uh, what's on my mind? Let's think. Let's think. What's on my mind? What's, <laughs> <laughs> what's on my mind? Well, it's it is Mental Health Awareness Month, so I I would like to dive a little deep into things that, you know, kind of what's what things that are, are stressing waiting. you out. I was things are. For you to ask me that. Yeah. Let, what do you have? Something. Because we've covered a lot of things, but like, what's what in particular do you think we should talk about mental health wise? Um, I like that the sobriety, you know, just kind of kicking uh, the little extracurricular stuff. And I'm not saying you have a problem, so oh, no, I mean, no, no. you can only kind of address that. Yeah, right? yeah, so. yeah. But I'm just saying, like, I think for mental health, at least for this month, it's a good thing to clear my mind. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Kind of like remove the clutter or the blurriness. So I think that's a good thing that you said. 
I think for me, and you know, I could be a little bit too judgmental on my friends, and maybe that's something I should fix. Mm -hmm. But it's like if I have two close friends, mm. say like you and Rec, mm. and I see very unhealthy lifestyles, I want to help y'all get on the same lake because I want to win together. Is that a bad thing? Not at all. I think that's a good thing. But I'm not. I think you see me when I'm just drinking on my streams. I don't do that. Often. But I also see you waking up past noon. Sometimes, not. Yeah. It depends on when I sleep. I would say before. five out of seven days. No, definitely not. Are you sure? Yes, three out of seven, four out of seven, okay. three out of seven. Yeah, it's just. I kind of don't understand the time. I've depends. never understood why the time mattered so much because his schedule, like his work, requires him to be late. Mm. Right? I wouldn't say so. It you have all day to be I thought to you create. But I work stuff. better. I work better at night. I'm a night. I'm a night person. Do you know what I mean? I'm like more Fair alert enough. at night. But then you know what it is? It messes up the schedule for everyone else in the house too. You know what I mean? Because it's flipped. So yeah. I do need to kind of like it's like a jet lag within myself. I need to like flip it back. Yeah. You know? Yeah. How do you do that? Just sleep. Just force yourself to sleep early. Um, I don't know. When you wake up early, you kind of want to sleep earlier. You know what I mean? You mm. get tired quicker. I just feel like if I sleep before three, I'm wasting like valuable time. That's an unhealthy thing. I, I sleep at like 2 a.m. Yeah. And I still wake up at eight, at least eight. Mm. You know? The so the You don't need, I feel like that's a significant amount of sleep. You can do six hours of sleep and be perfectly fine. Yeah. Right? And then also, if you wake up at eight, then you, you you're gonna be too tired to stay up too late anyway. Yeah, but you could still stay up till two. And the thing is, if you eat healthier, you'll have more energy. That's why I want you know I, I want my friends to eat healthier, exercise because you'll have more energy for things. I don't think that's you're right. The time thing is not that serious, but how you have energy throughout the day, I think, can be improved on. You know, this what I'm saying? challenge while she's writing her sixteen, and you start home cooking. It's gonna be perfect. I stop drinking. You start cooking for me, and she's what is rapping. wait? What is Steffi's perk here? What is she bringing to the table as she's rapping for gonna, us? She's gonna be the dinner. I want to know what what she's. I'm entertaining you. Yo, guys. for real, she's I'm bringing the vibe. She's bringing the. You're gonna write one rap all month. It might be easy for you because that's what you've been doing your whole life. Mm, okay. This is not something that I practice or I've done before. So okay. it's something that I'm going to be trying out around rappers, especially okay. and in front of the world here live. <laughs> okay. So you give us a sample. Go. <laughs> it's the energy I bring synergy for me to you to play and rhyme with me. Flavor, flav in this rave. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo, the way she like, flavor. Because like, this is do beatbox. Go, she's like, <laughs> I'm rapping. <laughs> oh, hi, hi, Captain. Oh, yes. what happened? <laughs> I'm Steffi Bay. Oh, look at me. I'm trying to fake <laughs> the rapper. Cause I'm having fun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo. We agreed for seven hundred dollars. Seven hundred. Yo. Am I supposed to write this thing? No, it was just wow. funny. Cause she was like, she was like, oh, hey. <laughs> I'm looking around. Oh God, I'm embarrassed. No, that was no funny. I'm not. That was Shut funny. the fuck you know. up. That I'm was sorry. so rude. I'm sorry. Dude. That was pretty fucked up, Dom. I'm sorry. And then you made me. The instrument. I got literally. nervous. As well. Why don't we really like try to coach Steffi? So in a month yeah, when she comes on here, when she actually. comes here on a month, she oh. likes. Why do you think oh, multi, okay. like multi syllabics is me? Co is us coaching her, man? Okay, okay cool, we got cool, it. Cool. You know what? I like that. Let's see if you can t turn a regular person into a rapper in one month. Mm. Yo, that well, would be at a least cool just the one. Watch. At least just the verse. That's no, I know, one but verse like, I should have the vibe. I should have whatever it takes to take a regular person into a rapper in one month. How wouldn't that be an interesting thing to see? Well, you know, it takes. Mm. All right, I'm sorry. I just thought. I think anybody could start rapping in a month, though. You know, Alex raps. <sighs> Alex, do you know any? Do you have any raps like memorized in your head right now from like back in the day or anything? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just went over some on Rick's stream last week. No, but memorize something you could do off the top right now. Can you do something off the top like that you had from a while back? It doesn't have to be a full sixteen. It could be anything. 
Okay. <clears throat> Guang Patrol, what a time. 8 15, 1945. Hella Han died at the Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I want you to grab the mic, put it on the overlay, and then <laughs> rev into the camera. The bro. mic's set for that, right? It, the, I mean, it's not, it's not the camera's mic, right? No, no, no. Okay, yeah, okay. It, it's gone. All right, go oh, ahead. Oh, there All right, you here go. Here we go. We need the proper presentation. So here we go. Okay. There you go. Okay, we got. Al I, wait, did you have a rapper name, Alex? Dango Mango. I've, I've had a bunch of different ones, but none of them really what, what were some of your rapper yeah, names? What was your first one? Oh, man. I just went by my initials at some point, and then I had the... AK? Uh, AJK. AJ what? AJK. AJK. AJ and then huh? there was uh, the one that I kind of like never really actually got to use was Young Radish. <laughs> young then, Radish. Because uh, like my, my Korean name's Moo Young, so it's like Young Moo. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, like, okay. Like I, li I like Young like Rabbit. Yeah, yeah, I like Young Rabbit. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so okay. scoop back a little bit, Alex. MC Chong got. Yeah. Young Radish got the beats for us. All right, this is an excerpt from a song called Han Dolo, which was put out like four right. years ago. Okay. Let's go. Guan Patrol, what a time. 8 15, 1945. Hella Han died at the hands of the fat man, little boy, looking in the line, making bombs for the own kind. Then a divide down the 38th parallel, a different hell, trip of mind, spin fell, drop a dime, disentail, democratic static with the masses in the panic, red a blue shot a cannon, dead in the head, Kim Koo. Hella Han died, my dude. Kim, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, All right, nice. Young Radish, that Young was, Radish. All right, that was it. That has been oh, Young yeah. Radish. God damn, this motherfucker I just was reading off a history book. Uh, <laughs> Close to Brinkley. So you liked rapping a lot about Korean history. Uh, for that... One project with two songs, yeah, and then I had some. You know, I when I first started writing music, it was definitely like a lot of love songs. You know, like some a lot of rock songs. So a mix between like electronic music, rock music. Was the love song the about the love for your country? Uh no, no, no. That was oh, that was like the an more actual love song. Yeah, a more traditional kind of kind of love song. He's like, yeah. oh, so the motherland, I suck from your teeth because uh, I am the son of my motherland. So I take off my. <laughs> Take off my underpants and put it into the hole of soul because I am the son of motherland. All right, cool. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Head to toe, north and south. <laughs> Head to toe, north and south, the 38th parallel. Meet me in the middle as I spit this riddle for you, mother. DBC. Okay, cool. All right, guys. Uh, let's go in <laughs> to the calls right here, guys. Hit us up on the Discord. Uh, let's kick it off with Niceberg. Steph, let's not forget how you made fun of your rapper. Yeah. Dude, I, you know, I'm still feeling the after effects of it in my body mm. as I'm thinking about having to have this done. Keep but now energy. I'm going to be practicing um, and I'm going to utilize. Yeah, you guys are going to have to help me. Wait, first of all, it's not a bet if we help you. You what? You just put me on the spot right That's now. It. If and it's then a bet, of... then you're gonna have to learn. If you, if you want to just teach you to do it a month, then there's no money involved or whatever. If you want to, she's about to haggle free tutoring services. Yeah. Not like yeah first of all, all, now you haggled <laughs> us teaching you for seven hundred dollars. It's gonna end up you writing it. <laughs> like you write it. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be me writing at the end. Well, you guys are the professionals. It's like, I mean, what? Niceberg like... was good. <laughs> all right, cool. Niceberg, no, what's it. up? You're on you there. It. You got it, stuff. No, he made fun of me rapping after putting me on the mm. spot. He called me fat the whole not even, podcast. Yeah, actually, this whole podcast yeah. was just you know attack with exactly dumb. exactly like What's a that? Korean dad mm. puts nice. the kid down instead of uplifting them positively. You're doing a lot of you this guys and not kids, a lot of first this. Of yeah, not a lot of You guys are not this kids. and not this, bro. You're well, not why kids. do you treat us like, your, like kids? Like probably how your dad treated you. That's not how I treat. That's not how my dad treated me. Don't point at me. Your dad treat you. Don't point at me. No, because my dad didn't even look at me the way I'm looking at you guys. You didn't make eye contact the whole time. Whoa. Okay. Nice, Berg. You're on. Is this fun with Dub or am I deaf? Or can you hear from? Yeah. What's up, Nice, Berg? What's good? What's on your mind? Yo, I have a. I have a. It's not related, but I have a really important question I have to ask. Sure. So like um when I was in school I met a lot of um girls from Korea. Yeah. And uh, some of them happened to be like surprisingly violent. So like they would like punch me in the arm, things like that. Like jokingly, uh, right? Kind of like jokingly, yes. Yeah. So I like as a as as a joke. And I'm like I don't understand why. I was thinking Maybe you guys know or not. Maybe I don't know if you guys have. Oh any yeah, that's a thing. Why? That's it. That's you know what I'm talking about, right? 
<laughs> like we're gonna like that kind of stuff, right? Like, no, no, yeah, 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 it's a, it's a, it's something that's just innate, you know. It's Korean girls have very spicy palms, yo. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like their slaps, <laughs> it's like you, you, sometimes you don't want to joke because when they find something really funny, they have to hit something. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> they have to hit something. You know, like like they actually say that. Like, why are you so funny? Why you, why yeah, they why hit you? So why funny? you so funny? Yo, why are you, you so know? funny? For sure. So you know, like I know. <laughs> I know a date went well when I go back home and it's bruised up. And yeah. I'm like, all right, she likes me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That shit made me want to yeah. say less jokes growing <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm going to stay quiet. Some girls time. actually punch. Some girls do the closed fist too. You know what I mean? So it gets it gets, it gets, gets kind of wild, bro. Yeah. And it's they just, ask you yeah. like, no, why? Korean, you can't even answer that. Korean like, girls are strong. Oh, they're strong. Like, yeah. I know I'm strong. Curiously strong. Like, right? No, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, you are. <laughs> you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my friend, my friend, he was one of, one of my friends. Why do we do that? Used... Say it again. I, oh. just, I don't know why that. Like, like one of my friends like always said to me like, uh, what's the word? Oh yeah, chugule. Chugule. Mm, that means you want to like, die. Yes, I know what it means now, but like, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. People. Like, it's just a joking no, thing. No, people like, say want to die. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, <laughs> if you translate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Go ahead. It's, no, it's really funny because they say "wanna die" is so intense, but we use it for like the weirdest shit possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's like that food was. You good. eat a fry. You eat a fry. Wanna die? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that bibimbap was delicious. Wanna die? Yeah. <laughs> Your cat is so cute. Wanna die? You know. Um, they don't say that. <laughs> I think you're misusing that now. <laughs> no, but for sure. I mean, you know, we just have rough rough palms and rough words man you know yeah like, there's a lot of things if you translate korean to english it's pretty fucked up well it's a sign okay so i learned that like you know when your parents like beat you up when you were a kid <laughs> when you grow up you <laughs> <laughs> no. was that a trigger i'm sorry he giggled no. after it's like to us we think that's normal is being abused is normal and a sign of love right right right, right. you know what i mean mm. and so you grew up thinking some sort of like abusive yeah, yeah type of thing that whenever you get abused in some way whether right. verbally or physically or whatever yeah that it's like okay we're used to that being kind of like okay that might mean that they love us we we enjoy it that happens. extreme pain dude it's not yeah think about like how we eat soups too scalding you know what i mean if right. it doesn't burn our tongue like the dude. roof of our mouth like yo this is yeah. not even hot enough. why well, every the... you compare so many life <laughs> things to soup no, like because really, it works it's like that broth bro. you get that first sip it's like you know what i'm saying when you take that Yo, chance works. in life when you pursue your dreams it's like saying, that broth dude. that first sip yeah. like asians love when it's fucking scalding hot right. what do they do most people get cold food yeah. no we gotta drink more hot soup <laughs> yeah, spicy yeah, yeah. and hot sp soup yeah like we we go like that extreme mile yeah yeah i gotta i gotta give it up to the old ladies at restaurants who bring <laughs> molten lava <laughs> yeah. bowls dude carrying it with their bare right, hands like stone bowls that's those are superheroes stone bowls those bro. Are, those are soup for <laughs> heroes wow. <laughs> wow. All right. nice bird. thanks for calling time in where i had like korean ramen for the first time whoa whoa first, first time? time for the first time my this is a while ago this is like four years ago oh okay, okay. Oh, okay. it's still kind of late I, bur I damn near burnt my tongue during my, my mouth out so congrats man <laughs> hell it, it was like hella spicy be careful out died. there, bro. Be careful out there. Thanks for calling. Nice. Appreciate you. Thank you, bro. Right, bro. Peace, right. peace, 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 peace. We got PDZ. Yes, what's up? PDZ. Hey, what's good? What's, what's up, up, man? Hey. <laughs> so, hey, my question today is uh, ice cream cake or regular cake? Ice cream. ice cream cake. Ice cream. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers gotta stop calling in so high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was wondering. Uh, he's on Postmates right now. Ice cream cake or regular cake? Uh, they're hey, both in my court. Which one should I go with? Uh, no, um, I gotta say, I'm, I'm cool with regular cake. I used to, I grew up on ice cream Come cake. Come on, bro. Stop lying to the people. Ice cream regular cake over ice cream cake i'm yeah. about to flip the table right now you know dude. what ice cream cake sounds amazing but it's regular a... cake is it just tastes better that's true no, I love i'm a okay right. i'm a sponge cake type of guy oh he's a sponge like, cake uh, type of guy dude actually i know what you mean i think regular cake man we grew up on ice cream remember when like your parents would bring ice cream cake yeah you could turn down the monitors alex we could tres leches is my favorite cake i would say the whole foods tres leches is really good Mm. Uh, I know that's like a weird. Yeah. Uh, what is Trace Leches? I heard of it before. 
it's like three, three milks. Spanish, milks. yeah, three milks. It's like milks. condensed milk, regular milk, and ooh, I, I do. I see what you mean. The breading, you know what I mean? Because you don't Cake get any is breading. Cake fire, bro. <laughs> That's going in the book right there. It's going in the book. No, no, but I, I like cake. Do you ever like take off the frosting and just eat the bo- the bread part, or do you eat uh, the yeah. whole thing? Yeah, yeah. I no, like, I eat the, the whole thing. You, gotta, you, you need the, the balance. I don't like the top layer of Korean, like that top layer of like cake. You know what I'm mm, talking about? Like the hard one, yeah. hard part. I don't like that. You don't like that? No. Ice cream cake all day, bro. One's yeah, in the I'm chat. Not, one's in the chat for ice cream. cream. Two's in the chat Yo, for regular cake. Shout out to cake. Paris Baguette with their soft ass cakes. Shout I love Shilla, their baby. soft cakes, man. Okay, uh, thanks for calling, PDZ. Is that it? Hey, uh, I was gonna say, do you guys do the thing with the cupcakes where you like rip off the bottom, bottom, and uh, put on top? I heard about you know that. About? I heard about that. What's that do again? I just, I don't know. It's just uh, easier. <laughs> He's like, I don't know, I'm stoned. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, thanks for calling in, thanks, PDZ. PDZ. <laughs> All right, we got harmonious Mel. Harmonious. Mel. Can you hear me? Yep. Oh, hi. Hey. Hi. I've been trying to get on this for a while. Oh, you're <laughs> here now, I Mel. Yeah, what's up? What's up, Mel? Do tell. How are you? We're good. Hope you're well. All right. Um, I wanted to do minority report. Ooh. <laughs> she sounds like one of our other callers, London. Kinda. That's what I thought, yeah, too. Yeah, she I sounds, like, like, sounds London. like London. All right, let's play a game of Minority Report with Rick Lee. Um, when are you ca- where are you calling from? I'm calling from Florida. Ooh. What city? <laughs> you don't know any cities in Florida, bro. Relax, <laughs> yeah, you're not bro. Gonna know. And I know. And there's, there's Pensacola. There's, you know. Ooh. Fort Lauderdale. No, it's called uh, Winter Haven. I know there. Uh, Polk okay. County. Okay, Polk County. Oh. All right. Yeah, okay. So, a bit. All right. Give her a, a, give a, her a, a sentence, sentence death. in rhyme form. In rhyme form? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> um, Mixing them in now. Malty's a lot I, makes. I slay. Okay. Ugh, what am I doing here? <laughs> <laughs> I slay an I, ice cream cake. How about that? I slay an ice cream cake in a tray. I slay an ice cream cake in the tray. Mm. Go ahead, Rick. I want to say you're Bolivian. What? What the fuck? What? <laughs> I want to say, are you are you Latina? Yes. Ooh. Okay. Let's see if you can narrow it down from here. Whoa. I want to say you're Puerto. No, I want to say you're Cuban. I don't know. Dominican. No. Puerto Rican. No. Mexican. <laughs> yes. Ah! In Florida, huh? Dude, I retired. <laughs> In Florida. All right. There's nice. a lot. Of Yo, us welcome. There's a lot. There's I don't a lot. know. I guess yeah. I don't know much about Florida except the trashy white people. Dumb got it. He yeah. I literally opened a jar and then he he you know that's what happened. Okay. Yeah. Well, what's on your what's mind, up, Mel? Mel? I just want to thank y'all. I've been listening. I've been binging your um, stream at work. I work at night and it's been keeping me awake. So thank y'all. Y'all so great. Oh, nice. Nice. Thank you so much. Yeah. Make sure you get some rest. Wake up before noon. So you're binging it as in like you're you're going through all the episodes right now? No, I actually finished um, on, I'm going to say Saturday night. Wow. So I caught up on every episode. Well, hell yeah. Thanks for tuning in to Fun with Dumb and keep calling in because uh, you'll get through. I don't know why you and haven't been the, able to. I'm, and I've been watching the um, the streams oh, nice. on um, Twitch. Oh, that's I what's was, up. Um, yeah. We should definitely do like the little triple thing we're talking about. Yeah, we're going to start streaming because we all have yeah. stream setups now at our houses, including Alex, too. So we could actually just all stream and, you know. That sounds terrible. <laughs> no, no, we should definitely do it. Yeah. It's stream team. <laughs> stream team. <laughs> cool. Thank you for right. calling in, Mel. Thanks. Thank you. Take care, Mel. All right. All right. We got Ren of the Ox. <laughs> <laughs> no relation to Year of the Ox, of course. What's up, Ren? What's up, Rox? <laughs> Wait, hello. Can you guys hear me? What's up, Rox? What's up, Rox? Is that Rennie? That's not Rennie, is it? Hold on, I keep you guys up. 
Oh, it's it Renny. Is. It is Renny. It What's like up? Him. Oh, it's Renny Six. It's Renny Six. Renny Socks. What's good, baby? Wow. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up, Ren? Come Ren? on, Come on get to the point, Ren. You've done this Ren before. He's painting it's the not your first right rodeo, Ren. Painting the background right now. Can you hear me, bro? He's changing. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Renny, come on. Kind of. Talk to us. Talk to us, bro. What's on your mind? So, I'm only here because, well, one, I haven't been here in like months. It feels like a month since I've been able to come in and talk to, to the group. But w uh, What's your reasoning? I have a question for Dumb. I asked Rex this earlier today, or last night, I guess, and um, I was wondering kind of what your answer would be. Um, so, Dumb, what inspires you nowadays as an artist, maybe like artistically, maybe like, it could be like peers, maybe like younger artists or maybe older artists even, but as like a, a veteran in the hip hop and into the, in the acting game, what inspires you artistically, like, at least nowadays? I think TV shows inspire me the most out of all the mediums, TV shows, because I feel like there's a lot, there's a shift happening in this, the way we tell stories through TV shows. You know, I'm talking about like, there's all these interesting shows where it's not like the 90s, 2000s yeah, sitcom vibes, the cliche, vibe, the cliche right? vibes. It's right. like, it's, it just leaves you hanging in a weird part of the story. Mm -hmm. And I kind of like that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and they focus on parts of your life that isn't necessarily serving like the beginning, middle, end. It's just like they'll focus on a weird part right. of your life that you don't you don't kind of hone in on and i like that so i feel like there's just little moments you know like That's it could true. be like an awkward moment like in a podcast like this where we're talking about we're just having fun right but we say one thing that's weird <laughs> and we lock eyes and it's like a weird tension and that exactly. could be a thing you know like there's just little things like that in tv shows nowadays that i feel like it is really dope and so that that, that type of storytelling unconventional storytelling is is what inspires me because back in the day i used to rap three verses and the story would be middle like beginning middle and an end right. and right. and now i don't want to do that you know so uh and, and the production like you know it caught up to the storytelling too so you could do crazy shit you know what i mean with the with the tv shows yeah like all these artists like you know Issa ray the donald glovers like they really do inspire me you know because i feel like you know uh the taikas you know like we have like storytellers that are doing some really cool weird stuff yeah um so yeah Renny, i think that was a hell of an answer yeah. right there bro well you're free to answer too rick no 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 <laughs> soup it soup inspires rick yeah dude you know inspiration is like a soup man you think it's done you just have to <laughs> dig deeper you know what i'm saying <laughs> sometimes might be too sometimes, hot you yo, gotta cool it off yeah, with yeah. The... sometimes you just gotta dive in baby could i ask you something because you yo, know sometimes yo, when i eat just right. just with soup i actually have a soup question for Let's you go, bro because hold on you know when i take a like a soup sip yeah i always put like start with my teeth mm. because it's so hot when it touches the lips so yeah. i kind of like do that do you do that like do you use your teeth first when you take a sip of the soup you know it's crazy my lips. you do <sighs> Yeah, yeah. So you do one of these. Really, things, like, I don't let it touch my lip first. I kind of like bite the it almost yeah, on, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the spoon. First. Yeah, and then kind of. You got to dive in, my brother. Really? Yeah, I every, it's pretty much what you're doing. I feel is, like it would taste better if I let the lips hit it first. No, yeah, definitely. Probably does, right? Yo, you, right now, every time you went to a pool, you like went a step at a time like that. You have to yeah. sometimes dive in it, bro. You know what? I've also not been a fan of the the, the soup from the directly from the bowl. I've always been a the spoon soup guy. Really. Yeah, no, like dude, after fifty percent completion, you, you have to lift the bowl a few times. Because you know, bro. like well, I'm talking about, you know, Japanese restaurants. They'll right. give you the they don't they'll usually just give you the bowl to mm. kind of sip the miso soup right, from the right. thing. I feel I like think, you get I a think, better think, soup experience with a spoon. You got a lip sensitivity no, situation going on. Sushi I do got a lip sensitivity. Think, it's a little bit too hot. Like even when I hop jump in a hot, I can't just jump in a hot tub. Just I'm let it like rest for four and a half minutes and you're good. I, you know? I I go into a hot tub the same way I eat a soup. With toes first, toes first, Jesus, Come toes on, first, bro. and I'm usually sitting on the first stair, right? You know, oh, what I mean, what are those like? I'm on the first waiters? stair. Oh my! God, I'm sorry, I'm dude. sorry. I have that's I have, fine. No, no, I'm temperature sensitive. No, you know what? I'm that's actually the healthier way to yeah, do it. You I'm know, temperature you could sensitive. Dive shock. You I know get... that sounds really like pathetic. You're a tiptoer. You're a tiptoer. I'm a tip -toe. You put the tips. You I'm a tiptoer. I'm a tiptoer. But the soup, but the soup, I do feel like now that you mention it, I feel like I'm missing out on a little bit of flavor. Like, bro, you're missing out the splash. Pretty much, what you're doing is you're creating a 
wave pool in your like spoon like you know what i mean so you're yeah. getting that, like you're getting that like that one wave but you need to you need to have the upper lip take care of the soup bro so and you go you, you go you dive in upper lip first bro, sometimes i just throw you it dive in, and your upper lip is fine it doesn't burn or I doesn't, mean, yeah. is it a little bit more callous it's than the usual like upper lip a violin lip? player if you play a long time or if there's soup eating you know tendencies you you get a callus you need to grow a callus to really enjoy your soup you know what i mean right right so like you can't really play the guitar soup unless calluses. you have you're talking, soup you're talking about lip soup it's calluses a, it's, a, it's a light soup callus man it's true oh, okay it's right. you know it, it's all right are the people that just put it in their mouth really hot crazy they're crazy. We're considered crazy how, do you how do you ease into oh, a I soup i don't do that there's no way i do you that. ease into a soup. i blow mm. you, you blow. do the blow I, is the blow yeah. effective first of all sometimes i feel like is this effective when we're like <sighs> oh the blow yeah. doesn't really effective. make it that much cooler. yeah 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 you know, that's like one thing degrees. i never I, I i never like that sometimes when they give you this soup and then they give you a metal spoon because i feel like it just keeps it super Wait, hot hold doesn't on, it when hold you take on, a hold on hold on you actually Wait. like the coronavirus covid plastic well, i just spoon worry situation when you get on? a metal spoon doesn't it keep it even hotter it that's just the whole stays point bro but just you too want hot, to hot. <laughs> how can I you enjoy a super hot soup nah, you want to insulate the heat baby you want to like make sure good. that everything what about is... the bpa in plastic mm. i think about the heat and the bpa think in the about plastic. a, a <laughs> bubbling <laughs> soup about that one. i like drink it <laughs> yeah for sure you put a plastic spoon into a bubbling yeah stone okay favorite spoon plastic metal or wood Wood. Wood. What, what? What? What do you mean? What wood's your favorite? Oh, no. <laughs> like, what, what is wood? When's the last time the only wood spoon I know is like at a <laughs> the like, cooking go- thing? I just what? think of Goldilocks for some reason. It's like ah, oh, porridge. Uh, no, no. A ladle. But I think of a ladle. I guess a metal spoon is the mo- the I refuse best to eat Korean right? food wait. without metal utensils, bro. Yeah, I'll wait. Wait, wait. Oh, Ren is still here. Sorry. <laughs> What's Ceramic up, Ceramic is a good option. <laughs> How do you guys feel about tongue dippers? About what? Tongue, like when you when you're eating the soup, right? And you you know you you, you dip your tongue in there instead. That's just, yo, so that's, stop lusting. Oh, bro. tongue like, dippers, tongue dippers. What the fuck? No, that's just rude. About, dude? That is rude. Oh, okay. I'll tell you one thing that is considered Wait, like like tongue dipping your tongue onto a spoon, never using it as a the, thermometer. Never use yeah, the tip, the spoon or the soup. The tip Fuck is the part Randy. that hurts the most. So- I'll, I'll tell you one thing that lots of certain cultures find very rude and some people don't find rude. The slurp. No, not the slurp, mm. but smelling your food. Really? Like, what culture? Before, you, before you eat it, you smell it. That's considered rude. And no, I think in Asian sure, culture, sure. isn't it considered culture? rude? What culture? In I mean, Asian just- culture, it's considered rude. Like if Koreans think it's rude. like if you had a dinner table with koreans and you smelled your food before you ate it mm. that would be considered rude because you're suspicious of what's in the soup i think it just comes I off see like that. like the king you know back in the day the kings in the renaissance time they had someone else taste the food i could see why that's <laughs> from over to now i think it someone looks smelled you think oh they think i'm suspicious i also think it looks a little too picky right like that's gonna determine you not putting the food in your mouth the just because it like, smells I smell it right weird. Now. I don't. But you know. smell to see if things are like okay or sick or like we- you you smell things to make it's sure rude, that you can. T- but it. to be right. eating, I don't know. Do you find I mean, it it's rude? considered rude because it's kind of like a hesitation. It looks like a hesitation or like some skepticism. Like is it okay? Is it edible? That's how they translate. I kind of look. I I know this isn't fair, but I do feel like when I'm at a dinner table and someone does that, yeah. it feels a little rude to me. <laughs> really. I mean, I always cover smell. <laughs> I do t- not do a cover smell. I, Shut I, the I fuck up. Do you cover smell you do not do a cover no, smell. Sometimes I do this. Or like I, I turn put my, my back f- and then I... Do yeah, yeah. You know how you take a shot in front of and your you pants? And you smell it? Yeah. Solid, yeah dude or the under the table like you drop something <laughs> it just looks like you're do- doing cocaine like <laughs> at the dinner table <laughs> yeah yeah it's like no i'm good i'm not hungry oh lord okay all right Ready. well ren um take i don't know why you didn't even ask us about soup no, i'm just letting all you right. know dude well, have a good one ren well sometimes you do it and you're like oh my god it smells so good if yeah. you want to maximize the efficiency bro sometimes you have to lift the bowl and finish the soup that soybean fermented soybean paste you right. left out for 30 right. days it smells so good right <laughs> before, oh before you're gonna you do it as like an enjoy like you enjoy yeah, this enjoy one. It. All yeah right. all right thanks ren we got atticus next let's go Atticus. 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 Hey, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 
<laughs> he What's was up? waiting until it was over. Very, very, hey, John. What's up? Hey, Atticus. Hey. <laughs> so, just wanted to share a small anecdote and kind of regale you. Um, or, and the first preface it with like a small question of uh, Have you ever had like a moment in time that just uh, lives like rent space free in your head? And I'll start off. Uh, so, I've met, <laughs> um, I've met Dumb twice. Uh, both of the times at uh, UCI. So first zot, time was zot. around like 2011. You went to UCI. Zot, zot. Zot, zot. zot. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Steph, you went to UCI. I'm a, I'm a, oh, for real? I'm else? an anteater. Hey, yeah. What, what year? <laughs> what year did you? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, a lady <laughs> never reveals. I'm about to say. Uh, Wait, and the lady we're never. We're all the same age at between, between, between 2011 and uh, 2020, I'll keep it there. <laughs> what, what, what uh, was it? What, when did you graduate? Uh, I'll just say it, 2015. Cool. 2015. Yeah, somewhere around yeah. there. Awesome. Somewhere around there. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like impolite is asking a, you know, a woman her age. I get it. Zot, zot. <laughs> so, a woman anyway. never zot, zot. Zot, zot. All right. All right, so here's the story. So uh, around, I think, yeah, I think around like 2015 or maybe in 2014, um, the Korean club on UCI, CASA. Yep. They're having like this uh, Korean culture <laughs> um, night thing. Yeah. <laughs> and... Um, yeah, you, you uh, I think you like guest showed up with Aquafina mm-hmm. for one of the, for one of those acts. Right. I attended that. And yeah, like, you know, Aquafina, she's yeah, she's like so sweet. You know, she plays she plays her set. She I think she plays what her like hit song Queef or something. Yeah. And we're all like yeah. vibing to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you go up on next you go up on stage, you do your thing. Then like, you know, we're all taking a break between the sets. You're asking people hey yo shout out like you know what's your major blah blah, blah. so you go around the you ah, know the audience the old... they're all saying their stuff they're like yeah i'm in comp sci yeah that's yeah, been that was a, so studies. that was a bit of mine for a long time right when i played college shows i'd look in the crowd yeah. and be like yo what's your major what's your major and i'd crack a joke <laughs> off of like whatever they're majoring in right, it was something right. i did across the country um, right yeah yeah so i figured that's it yeah like you know that's just things just kind of like you know for a break you come to me and like my mind draws a blank and i'm like should i be funny should i just say my real major blah blah, blah. <laughs> and then what do you say? i'm like so the fucking thing i say oh man uh korean kimchi slap studies and you look at me like a dumb motherfucker like yo man that's whack i just like and i'm like so you said yeah, kimchi smoked, slaps time, you said korean kimchi slap studies yeah I should have roasted you way harder than say that was whack. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, you like. Okay, so, like, and that was the reaction. Was it like good or bad? No, dude, it was like neutral. You're like, yo, that's whack. I don't know, man. Okay, okay. Like, you know, so that lives rent free in your head. So I'll get to that. <laughs> so I look down. I'm like, ah, I should have said my. Uh, I just should have said my major, but I was like, just why honest. the fuck did I say that, man? And then um. Yeah, no, and then I just felt like uh, it just stuck with me. But like I could have said something, you know, like you know, stayed with the mood of the the show. All right, said, well, this is your chance right out. now. Hold on, we're gonna yeah. reenact it. All right, oh. okay, uh, you right there, Atticus. Uh, what's your uh, what's your major? Yeah, uh, kimchi slap studies. <laughs> oh my gosh, yo! <laughs> you, you had. My you had Seven years, bro. He doubled down yeah, on it. Seven he years. Doubled down on yeah. it. Um, oh. I'm fine. I, I, I lie in the bed that I made. Okay. <laughs> All right. Kimchi slap but, studies. It is. By the way, yeah. So, yeah. Like you know, what what moments like have you had when like you know that lives like rent free in your head that you totally felt like you had your mouth in your or your your fist in your mouth or something. <laughs> your foot in your mouth, bro. There you <laughs> go. That you <laughs> in your mouth. <laughs> Whoa. Um, is there any like embarrassing moment like that you've had, Rick? Um, I mean, yeah, of, of course. When I cursed at a uh, children's church show, I forgot for a moment, like at the end of the show. Yeah. I was like, put your mother... F-, and I, I could Like in the... Right yeah, into the... Yeah. And I see like the kids just like their hands are up like this. It's kind of like a retreat. And manif- I'm looking over a manifest of my rhyme partner at the time. He was like, what are you doing? And I, I had to finish it because I already committed. Yeah. Fucking hands up. <laughs> and uh, I still remember about that. 
I still remember that memory, dude. Is, is there an embarrassing moment for you, Steph, when you were like in real estate that you had with a client or anything like that? Yeah, I think I told that story where. What um, was it? Uh, I went into like one of my first like big open houses. Like it's like a multi million dollar home. I was trying to get the listing for on the water, and like I went into their house and I met with the seller and. I, I did my presentation and I was like, okay, I think I did okay, but I was still like very nervous and I'm like really young. So it's like always like you have to be extra right. confident as whatever. And so as I'm I was, a grown up. Yeah, I'm a fucking <laughs> grown up. So as I was walking out, another man comes, like another realtor that's being interviewed to list the home. Right. And he's like a tall white man. And this and the seller's a tall white man. And they look at each other as so he's walking I'm walking out of the house and he's the owner's walking out with me, I'm, I'm in front, and the other guy comes, and um, I turn and I, for some reason, think the seller, the, the agent is gonna shake my hand. <laughs> and so I put my hand and I'm like, hi, I'm Steph. And then they, these two guys behind me who are a lot taller and bigger shake hands and my hand, <laughs> literally it's like this and it's like my hand is in between <laughs> and it goes like this. And it's like a three-way weird-ass shake. Right. It's like this. It's oh, like my this, God. And then this is my hand, like this. Gets in this, like this. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then, Captain Planet shows up. Yo, can we all shake hands like that from now on? No. Us three right here? Oh, my God. I was so fucking dead. And, and you're, like, like, tiny wedged in this, yes, like, tower. Yes, fucking tiny. <laughs> this tower of whiteness. And I'm walking away. I'm like, fuck, I fucked this up. And I turn around, and I look at these two men, like, holding hands. Like, like it's as if they knew each other and became friends. And oh, my God. And they were, like, laughing. And oh, I was like, what a Steffi. fucking... How about yours, bro? Uh, man, I feel like I've had a lot of embarrassing moments. Um I tend to embarrass myself constantly. Yeah. Uh, Do you have one that kind of replays in your head, bro? I think on stage, you know, there's a lot of moments on stage. Like, I think when there's hecklers and stuff, you've, I know how to deal with them now. Yeah. You know, but when you there's there's been moments where I didn't know how to deal with a heckler and it got really awkward. Really? Like you? I played back? a show in SF and. Uh, just the sound wasn't right, and I'm like, "Yo, like, you're kind of, I come go, I'm kind of going at the sound people, right, right. like, yo, get this shit right, get this shit right. Like, I'm not gonna perform for like people until the sound is right, you know? You're tough when you speak to the sound man like that. Yeah, bro? and but the sound people usually are the students there, you right. know, who's studying sound and shit. Brad Kim and yeah, fucking yeah, Peter. yeah. So this girl who's doing sound is like, all of a sudden gets on the mic from her end, oh! and she goes. It's not the sound, it's you. <laughs> and then I go off as like <laughs> Yo. And then I just for some reason usually I'd like I'd l i would know how to handle this. Yeah, yeah. But be like all of a sudden I started going into my resume. <laughs> I've been going to Project Blow for 10, 12 years and open bikes and all this shit. <laughs> And oh I just walk God. off stage. Yo. It's probably the most embarrassing moment. That is hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So it was bad. She fucking Yo, she checked me. On the fucking she checked me. One of these. And, and she hit my she yeah, hit a yeah. button, you know what I mean? And I was like, oh <laughs> man. And, and it was the most embarrassing moment. I apologize to that person too. It probably was me. She was like, she was like Stop cupping the mic. Mm -hmm. right, she right, pretty right. much checked me like I don't know how to hold the <laughs> yeah, mic. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. what I'm saying? Stop pointing the mic at the monitors. Yeah, I was like, well, and it infuriated <laughs> me. Like, I know more. that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know that. <laughs> 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 Bitch, wow. don't tell me how to hold a mic. <laughs> Do you know who I am? <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Man. That's hilarious. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that's that. Well, I, I, thanks for calling. Let's go to RTZN1234. Thanks, Atticus. Peace. Uh, RTZN1234. Come on, man. Write soon. Also, like, just to let you guys know, we're going to breeze through these calls, so you guys got to get to the point. We don't have a whole story time. Elevated you know what I'm pitches. Saying? Elevated pitches. We didn't even let Atticus get to the punchline. I don't even know what that <laughs> what he was trying to get to. But uh, RTZN, what's up? Um, Can you guys hear me? Yes, mm -hmm. we can. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh, this is my first time calling. I usually, oh, um, thanks for calling. Aren't able to Hi. Get your guys' live stream, but since it is my first time, I was wondering if you could play maybe a little bit of. Minority People, Report. they love playing this game. I don't. Where okay, are you calling hold from? on. Let me ask. Mm -hmm. What is it about this that's so fun? RTZN. I don't know. For me, I don't know. For me, it's just 
interesting to see how well you guys can how, yeah you're like really curious like if he can nail it right like if he can actually guess it and you guys are pretty good so far watch been kind of off of but, uh, okay rtz and let's see all right rick you have been off so uh how about Steffi? give her a sentence oh, wait where are you calling from uh vancouver bc so up north from you guys mm. canada okay okay i i like my poutine with extra gravy and sweet potato fries i like my poutine with extra gravy and sweet potato fries Ooh, what do we got can you say poutine three times in a row please <laughs> poutine, poutine, poutine. Hmm. that's not that didn't help at all poutine. Help <laughs> all right what is it you're korean oh no really wow. okay any other takers? I don't oh. hear Korean. I'm gonna say Latina. I'm gonna say Filipino. Steffi? That's Filipino sounds good. I'm just saying that down there. Okay. okay. What are you? Um, Steffi is correct. Filipino. Whoa, wow. Steffi! Wow. Nice. I actually knew she was Filipina. I just wanted to, you know, mix it up a little bit. Damn. Damn, Steffi. Good <laughs> guess. Good guess. Good guess, man. Okay. What's up? One, two, three, four. Okay, so I guess for my question, I just wanted to, in the spirit of Mother's Day, I was wondering if you guys had like a, a specific, like a, what's your favorite memory that you've had with your mom, or maybe what's your favorite thing about your mom? That's a good you question. Yeah, I'll go you first. Go first. When I was five, my sister was one, okay? We're in the back of a Maxima. My mom was like dropping off cash at one of the cleaner spots. Yeah. And it's one of those L convenience stores, right? So this is a highway, a busy highway. And my cleaners is right uh, in the front. She goes inside and she's dropping off this envelope of money. And I climb into the driver's seat, five years old. She left the engine on. Somehow I put it in reverse. <laughs> I yeah. put it in reverse yeah, yeah, yeah. and the car is rolling back and like literally about to go into this highway just oh, full shit. of traffic i was yeah. literally we were about to die oh my i remember this like it was yesterday my mom you know the maternal instincts right there she looks out she throws the envelope and she spr i've never seen my mom like run like that yeah her superpower like literally we were halfway through the parking lot maybe about 30 seconds before we we're about to hit into oncoming traffic yeah, and yeah, die. yeah 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 she opens the door, jumps in, breaks, slaps me twice. <laughs> <laughs> slaps me twice. Like, like, what the fuck are you doing? And then puts it in park <gasps> right oh before the God. highway. Oh, wow. My mom. That's crazy. Yo, I still she killed that. So she killed she that perfectly. She bolted that shit. Oh, wow. Yo. And had the slap yo, in she order. She slapped me in slow motion. It was like pop and then <laughs> pop park <laughs> no, wait, no, no, wait she slapped you first no, yeah no so she opened the door grabbed the wheel Whoa. and then she and then she, oh, she did three things she hit me asked my sister she okay <laughs> and then back into yo but i i remember oh. that story like it was yesterday, yo man. that is hilarious yeah, yeah. so what? that whole mom like strength true shit bro so well, what's crazy. your story Damn, I don't. I can't even think of like that's a crazy story. It's actually, it's, you know, Jerry Bruckheimer I shit. I mean, my the, the last thing I can say is like when I went to New York with my mom and we just like walked around the city and I showed her around. I, that that's my like one of my favorite memories is mm. us just spending time together and. Um, how was that? Was that fun? Like going to a brand? She's never been to New York. That was the first time she's been. No, she'd been to New York oh, often, has. but it, it's different when because I used to live there, and so showing her places that I've I know well. Yeah. And I can, you know, I was at a place where I can show her like a nice time, and I didn't have to think about money and things like that. Right. So I was able to show her like a good like That's time cool. as an adult. Mm, you know what yeah. I mean? And so um, I don't know. I felt like it was kind of like a piece of her, like being able to see like my life, and so that felt special. Was connecting to her, like, and being able to, you know, I, share a bit, bit of me. I honestly think this recent Mother's Day, this past Sunday, was probably the best time I've had with my mom in a really long time. Thanks, man. So it was mm -hmm. a big, it was a big moment for me, and I think things are going to be very different moving forward. 
<laughs> how did you how did you takes intercept mo- her story takes right mom's now mom's shopping once, <laughs> once right well now. i it's goes been a, to the grove with his mom once no it's right not now. the sh- i'm not even talking about the shopping part mm-hmm. i'm talking about the part where i felt different right spending hours with her and time with her i felt different is that your is that your response your favorite memory of your mom yeah, and we were young. My mom really endured a lot with my dad. Mm. So, like, I would say my, my mom really held us down. This is a woman who carried me when I was three years old and my sister when she was one years old through the Mexican border <sighs> alone with, like, 12 other families. Barefoot, I heard. Not barefoot, okay. don't. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Not barefoot, but she carried us through the Mexican border. Right. And we snuck into this country. <sighs> Are you allowed to say that right now? Are we good? Yeah, yeah, because I'm a citizen. Oh, we're now. good now, right? All right yeah, cool. yeah, we're yeah. green card holders. After a while, if you, back then, like now, I don't know about like how it is now, but if you mm-hmm. were in this country for a certain yeah, while, yeah. you can get a green card and you can get like a citizenship. I also had just like a simple. It's interesting because I was like, I feel like I also had a good experience just ha- this Mother's Day where we didn't do anything crazy, but we spent time at home and we had like a really intense discussion about like some of our traumas yeah and i'd never opened up to her like that about things i was very vulnerable and um we both like cried together it was like i'd never had an experience like that so that was kind of that was special but it's not typically what you think of when you think of a special moment but having i think it was more of like a energy heart connection that felt i think that's gonna be an intense one with my mom i've never had that breakdown kind of thing yeah i mean it took me a long time but it was just because i told her something really crazy that like i went through and she she actually related to it oh wow yeah so that i saw a poster of your mom she's a gorgeous woman by the way oh thank you she's very fashionable did you see did you see uh steffi's uh picture like her old picture (laughs) uh uh, (laughs) alex pull this up her instagram uh her sister's instagram is dino bakes d-i-n-o-b-a-i-k-s she yeah. might have put it on private but oh is it on private oh you're right is she a private account okay but she's a private it. i can how do i do that just text it to alex or oh, something God. screenshot it and then text it to alex <laughs> thank you so much for calling in uh what's your how do you say your name oh it's artesian artesian oh, oh, okay not us so, not us so. all right well thanks for calling and thanks for listening <laughs> thank you no problem. Thank you, guys. Have All right, we day. got Bueno Power. We're going to breeze through these real quick. I'll just skip Shan. All right, Bueno Power. <laughs> hey, guys. Can you What's hear up, me guy? Hey. Yeah, we hear you. Awesome. Thank you guys for having me again on your guys' uh, podcast. Um, so I uh, have been listening to uh, the stream so far and uh, kind of have been wondering – a couple of things. So um, it is Mental Health Awareness Month. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Yes, it is. That's correct. Okay. So, um, and you guys were actually talking about challenges. Uh, Steffi, you know, trying to get your 16s and then uh, <laughs> you dumb. Uh, <laughs> uh, hopefully able to kind of like, you know, make that track to learning how to cook. Um, mm. So, I <laughs> Have you guys ever thought about together, like for one month or about a couple of months? You guys ever like thought about doing a challenge where you guys just are just completely sober? Yeah, we do those detox months for I, sure. I was sober most of the pandemic, to be honest. I I really? had runs where for like months I wasn't doing shit. Drinking. Yeah, we need to do that. We need to uh, cleanse, kind of cleanse, man. Mm, okay. All right. So yeah, I was just kind of wondering that about that because uh, for the most part, because uh, I I'm I'm straight edge. I'm sober. I don't I haven't done anything like that since I was 23 and I'm 35 now. And good for I you, man. It, it, thank you. And I was kind of just curious because um, you done it, it's kind of cool seeing your progress. You know, sort of like you know training and all that. Um, <clears throat> I know that you, since you had said that you don't really do any of that uh, since pandemic, uh, how has your mental health been so far since you sort of cut down a lot of those things? Good, but I still drink about once or twice a week. And then, and, and, you know, when I drink, I like go in, you know, so I'm, I'm trying to quit it completely because one of those nights will throw off your momentum for the next two, right. two days afterwards, you know, and I okay. think that is just that's bad that's the part that sucks uh and and i think that's the part where 
the addiction part comes in right because it's like this mentality of like i had a long week of work let me reward myself with this one day of drinking and right. i think people are addicted to that idea you know the idea of like this is a once a that's week that's very thing. true man because you know i'm streaming on wednesdays too and we drink on wednesday so i'm kind of like looking forward to that hump day just like oh i get to drink i don't on think wednesday. you need to drink on this no no i'm not I, going to that's why i'm gonna get really messed up tonight because it's my last day of drinking and then <laughs> and then for a month you'll see I, if you do, I would love to see you do that, you know, that, yeah, yeah. that whole month. I'll if just you, drink water and lime water, you know, let's water see, and lime. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see what happens. I do think the cheat day idea is a lie. I do think if I, when I ever I, I do anything, whether it's food or anything, and there's a cheat day, it fucks everything up. Right. Right. But I mean, right. I, never... I believe that, mm. that it's not, it's because it's supposed to be a lifestyle. It's not about detoxing. If that's what you're trying to get at. No, right? turtle. I'm drinking. Yeah. Right. I agree okay. with that. It's hard, especially if it's something you're addicted to. You, I, I realize it is not something that you can just say, "Let me take little breaks from it," because it doesn't work like that. If they're gonna, yeah, Addiction if they're gonna do it, you can't just do that. Be like, do that with food or your diet, and then yeah. say and not do it for everything else. If you're gonna do a cheat day, but cheat on your girl, do drugs, do you know everything that one day a week. Right. Well, so <laughs> I'm just guys, saying, if, if you're gonna say, if you're just gonna do it for that one thing, you know, it's, I don't know. I think you just stretch a little. Okay, 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 <laughs> a little yeah, bit yeah, of a stretch yeah, right there. Right? Yeah, okay. I, I, I'm. Well, so then, do you guys agree? Do you guys agree to this as well? Then, do you think addiction is a disease? Is addiction a disease? I don't know. Like, what necessarily implies a disease? A you mean disease. like a genetic, like a. Depends on the addiction, right? But I think it could be treated. I mean, they, they call it a disease, I think, right? Yeah. I should think, I think it should be taken seriously, like one, especially if it, yeah, especially if it is hereditary too. Right. But, or gene if there is a genetic okay. component. The power of genetics is wild, man. As you know, there's things that we've seen our parents do that we never liked. Uh, yeah. we, we told ourselves we would never do and you get older and you see glimpses of that and right. it's a scary thing. And you realize how much these genetics play take you know For sure. take control of you a little bit. Yeah. You know? It's a scary, scary thing. But breaking that cycle is definitely possible. You just gotta acknowledge it and you gotta really get help. My dad likes soup. Grandfather likes soup. <laughs> My great grandfather like broth. You know what I mean? Like it's it's yo, bro. I can't. I you can't come from a it. long line of family members that never liked solid foods. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they were all. all you yeah, come from a very soup we family. Like that mix. You know what I mean? Yeah, that little, yeah, for sure. I believe some of your early ancestors didn't even have teeth. <laughs> no, they did not. They, <laughs> they didn't have teeth. <laughs> nah, man. Yeah, it was just pure gums. <laughs> It was pure gums, <laughs> stew, broth, soup. You know how it goes, man. Yeah, the stew dynasty. Yo, mind. Bueno, that's a that's a very interesting point, man. Thanks for bringing that up. Thanks, Bueno. All right, take care, man. Bye. All right, uh, skip Shan. We'll go to Dati. No, I'm kidding. We'll go to Shan. What's up, Shan? Hi, Shan. You there? Are you there? Hi. What's yeah. up, hey, Shan? Shan? Hello. Right. How are you guys doing? Hi. We're good. I'm We're good. 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 How are you feeling today? I'm all right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm off today, so I'm happy. Okay. Nice. nice. Shan works a lot. A lot. A lot. That's tight. What's the no. What's the question? <laughs> um, I will quickly know. It's talking about mental health awareness and stuff. Um, I was wondering because I know you said you started therapy a couple of episodes ago. Um, and uh, is that I'm true? Just what that process is like? Yeah. Didn't you say you you? I did. I did recently. Yeah. Like it was about. It's been. Oh, like you a, start. You started. Yeah. Oh, I thought you I interviewed people. Oh no, he uh, nah, I got in. I'm doing got in. it. Yeah, I was just curious about what that what that was like and what um what made you make the jump to want to seek out a therapy. Uh, a lot of things. You know, there were things around. I think my relationships with people that were kind of falling apart, and I just kind of had this realization that if I don't fix this right now, it's it's how every relationship's gonna be. All right, I'm gonna just say it. He went because of me. <laughs> you know? No, I didn't, bro. Fair what are you about? I, I, I can see that. <laughs> no, I just feel like that. You see, the thing is, I think what happened was throughout my past 10, 15 years, I surrounded myself with a lot of people that deal with how I am. That could mean mm. like. <laughs> the way I, I'm kind of an asshole or, you know, uh, okay. you know what, how I could be. I think I have people who accepted me for who I am. Right. But when you're a mm -hmm. grown person, 
You got to understand, man, like, and you want to build relationships with people all around you as you're moving along, you're meeting new people. You have to yeah. do some work. Everyone's not going to accept you for the way you are, right? Oh, no, and, no. and that's okay. But if you want to form strong bonds and also have people around you that you're trying to build relationships with, even business wise and all that, mm -hmm. you have to be able to talk to different types of people different ways too, you know? So absolutely, I think that's the kind of thing I accepted. I'm not one of those guys that's just like, fuck that, this is how I am and you'll accept me for who I am. No, because I'm trying to get yeah. to places that go beyond the way I am. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, no, we hear you. I am I whatever you say, say I am. If, if I, I wasn't, then if why I would I say I am? am. <laughs> I right. kind of feel the same way lately. I feel like uh, I don't have a lot of friends that actually take me to task and like tell me I'm doing shit wrong or fucking up or already don't like certain things that I do. And it's kind of, I don't know. Kind of, it, I guess it stunts your growth a little bit. It's letting down your ego and pride, you know? And, and the mm. thing is, if you want great things for your life, that's bigger yeah. than you, bigger than your circle. You're gonna have to learn mm -hmm. how different people, pe different people walk in this world, you know, and yeah. uh, and and you got to be open to it. It's it's the world doesn't revolve around you. You know what I'm saying? And I always oh, thought I was like this worldly guy, but the truth is, yeah. I didn't know shit. I was just so comfortable in my own bubble of how I am and my yeah. ego and pride, and and I thought me being like I'm not gonna change. Thought I was standing my mm. ground. What an idiot. <laughs> I kind of, <laughs> I kind of, I get, I never felt like I was like an egotistical person, but like I think we all have an ego in certain aspects, in certain ways. It may not also be about being about yourself, but having too much pride and thinking that you don't need to change. It is, but and, the uh, thing is, I've I've done everything that I can. Like I realize with everything that I am and my stubbornness mm. and my ego and pride, I've reached the cap of that, of what I can become. Mm. And I've been here forever. I haven't crossed that shit in so long. I'm like, I need to do yeah. something different. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I've been right here for hella long, like with the way I am. Right. So I know my personality and who I am as a person takes me right here. Yeah. Yeah. I have to do something <laughs> to get over that That hump right right right. and that's gonna be me yeah. that's gonna mean be, me being some you know like uh just more open to right. things and different yeah it's therapy is it's a cliche thing to not trust therapy because you know you feel like well, it was generational too i guess we all just kind of feel like there's no need to involve people in your problems but i don't know i've been thinking about it a lot lately thinking about finding a therapist that's awesome shanoi's there's uh, a lot of these yeah, like my uh, mom told me she found one and i was like my mom's the strongest person i know so i'm like if she went and saw a therapist right like, yeah. um are you gonna do an online therapist because like you could find online therapists like better help is one mm. have you been to that one i have not yet i haven't really given it much uh research yet just been thinking about it yeah talk space is one and then um very well mind but those are like uh, BetterHelp, Talkspace.com. Both of those are like great sites to check out. I will definitely be uh, giving that a go. Yeah, you can also, you put those in, Alex? Yeah, put it in the Because it's the month I think that we should put. Just some resources. Yeah, yeah. some people don't want to leave, especially because of quarantine and mm. the pandemic. They don't feel safe going in. Is that yeah. the, I think it's like 150 a month. And better you just help. Get like a, better, better help is 150 a month and you can like talk uh, to multiple yeah. people. And talkspace.com. Yeah. And then you also it's can go money, to psychology aspect, today. It's kind of like, yeah. yeah. Steffi has some really good advice. She's been going therapy for like a couple of years now, right? Mm -hmm. And then she she's really when I talk to her about stuff, it feels like I'm meeting somebody that I can't bullshit my way out of. Like she checks me, she oh. checkmates me. Thank mm. you. Dude. She checkmates you me. You think it's because of therapy or just because I'm smarter? I think so. Though? Well, I think you're smarter because of therapy. <laughs> you are smarter. You have a higher emotional IQ because of therapy. I agree with that. Therapy helps you break down your feelings. It goes. <laughs> Yo, I swear to God, man. Okay, keep in mind, I've only gone to therapy a few times, all right? Like, literally a handful of times. <clears throat> Shan Wise. A um, few times is better than not going, you know? That's true. So at least she made the step, you know? But, um, but yeah, um, you know, I want to thank, actually, Steffi. She's been one of the people that kind of introduced me to the idea of possibly going there. Oh. You know? Mm. 
Awesome. Anything that helps my friends. I want to grow with the people I'm around. So that's important to me too. So I, I, whether it be work wise, but like spiritually and mentally, those are very important things I think to keep around. Like you want to be around people that uplift you or make you feel good or you mm -hmm. feel like confident around. Right. And so yeah. I think that that is kind of what you talk about. Like when you want to see your friends get physically stronger or smarter or whatever it is. Um, you want to be around that too because it keeps you in check, yeah. right? So I feel that about mental health because I think mental health is so important, something that I did not have access to when I was younger. I think a lot of us didn't. Right. And being, um, especially being Korean, there is a lot of mental health issues that is very stigmatized. And um, I'm just lucky that I'm around people who've uh, shown me a different light. And that's why I was, I was able to get the help. And it's like one of the best yeah. things I've ever done. So I want to pass that yeah. around to more people. But yeah. Is on, your on therapists, uh, re like, my, like most people look for therapists that kind of relate to their lives. Like like my, most people who are black, like want a black mm. therapist. Yeah. Is, do you have a therapist that's Korean or are you just? No. You know, I was so stuck on the fact I wanted to find some, someone that was Korean American or like Asian American. Mm. But when I went on to psychology today, what stopped me for like a few months again, because it's, I recognize how un, like difficult it is to like take the steps of like signing up. And I had mm. so many excuses for not doing it and I couldn't find anyone except like I couldn't find anyone who I thought I wanted, but mm -hmm. the, I got a referral from a friend and then they kept me accountable and was like, oh, did you call in? And I was like, mm -hmm. okay, so that's the step it took for me to actually sign. But I, the number one thing I didn't want was a white person. I just wanted mm -hmm. someone that was from like an, uh, had the experience of being from like an immigrant Minority. family. Yeah. Like a yeah immigrant. So family. you wanted to have a minority report after, <laughs> after <laughs> I your therapy I session. Them. I asked you them. You felt like understood your perspectives, though. I kind of get it. Yeah. So I I call when I called. I just wanted to make sure I didn't want to have to explain what it's like to be an immigrant, and like for them not to have. Not that I'm saying that people that do go to someone like that doesn't help them, but I'm just like for me that was important, and so and I wanted a woman. Those are like, you kind of have yeah. to break down exact, like certain things that are important to you or who you feel comfortable talking to. Um, mm -hmm. And so that uh, I asked those questions when I made my interviews. I interviewed three people. I had three sessions with three different people. And, Did uh, you haggle? <laughs> actually. <laughs> Should you be haggling for therapists? I though? didn't have money. I didn't oh, have money. I, I had like just that. gotten out of a thing and I couldn't. Um, I didn't want to, I thought I didn't want to spend money on this that much. So right. I asked them, I was like, it was the beginning of, I was actually beginning of quarantine actually, or around that time. And I had lost all the jobs I had. So I just was like, Hey, I don't have the money. Like, will, will you, she asked me, she was there and cared enough to be like, how much can you afford? That's and she cool. went, she went even less than what I said. Cause wow. I was like, I don't even know at that price if I could do it. I'm taking this chair. <laughs> That's not, it's not haggling. I just knew what was on the wall. I just I just told her honestly what I was going through and she cared enough at that moment. She she's spiritual and she, I think she felt a connection with me for whatever reason. Right. And so ther therapists can be pretty expensive and I know like the average yeah. price that I've been seeing is like $250 an hour. Yeah. So I want to ask you guys like I and I don't know how that average kind of came to be. Yeah. Like how all the therapists were like, all right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to charge 250 an hour. Right. How do you feel about that price? Like, does that sound like a good price for a therapist? Like what they do in a job wise? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I mean, I think in a month, the amount that we spend on our vices, mm. you know what I mean? Whether right. it's extracurricular, whether it's that. drink, right. like investing in yourself by paying like a G a month just to better yourself. That's true. That's true. If I look at it in that kind of comparison, right, I right. think that's fine, dude. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Because I mean, yeah. th yeah, things right, that like give right. us instant gratification, we don't even think twice about like that's true. That's spending true. money on I agree. You know, I feel that. Honestly, I feel like mental health, like it's f even physical health, like people pay like a thousand dollars to to have a gym membership it's right? true people it's about pay. the same pro yeah. it's about even the same the for a personal money, trainer yeah. probably but yeah imagine looking good from the inside too not just the outside god damn girl <laughs> fuck who's your gonna... therapist cause he's doing a good job I'm honestly <laughs> fine your thoughts are sexy as fuck <laughs> I find it so attractive when I find out someone's like working on it. like I'm like what oh yeah that, like, here's, that's a that's thing that's a big thing for me that's now. a good point a lot of people I noticed like this is what Tony said, because mm. Tony does therapy. 
And totally he said, bro, and he, and he kept talking to me about like therapy. And he's like, trust me, bro, chicks love dudes in therapy. <laughs> <laughs> is that a thing? Yes, especially. Do girls like dudes in therapy? Bro. Yo, yeah, because we're bro. all, women are emotionally smarter and typically, typically, not always. But imagine if they can meet someone on that level that can talk about these emotional things. Mm. So hot. Like, yeah. that I'd, I'd yeah, choose sure. that over someone that was like, physically perfect well i got three therapists yeah it's not funny it's not something to joke about oh, can you stop joking? so that's not like, so that's, not, that's not hot <laughs> okay okay all right. Mental health. Shit. you know so many of my girlfriends who joke did it someone's like the joke did not land <laughs> i have a few i have a bunch of girlfriends right now that are single that are hot successful blah 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 um working on their s mental health and mm. we're just looking it's so hard to find it's things. it has been very difficult to find men who are also working on themselves that aren't right. younger what the thing is up? it seems like guys that are younger for some reason like in school and stuff like they 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 are like it's 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 open to them they're te they're being educated about this stuff so i i notice that a lot of these people happen to be younger but then they're not as like settled but also you know, like in just other ways like mm, but also just because somebody are doesn't way more into therapy and like talking about their therapist now than like even just like six years ago yes I think last year, I think it's because of the pandemic. I think we There's had a lot a of time wave. to think. I think a lot of people were dealing with mental health issues and we finally are like, yo, let's do something about it. And so, so Gil Slayer said, not all people need therapy though. So what do you say to that? Um, I say don't knock it till you try it. Um, I know a lot of times people are like, oh, you could do shrooms. You could go on a magic shroom ride. And like, I've heard this so much and I don't know if this is even true, but they're like, it's, it's three, three years worth of therapy. Have you guys been hearing this? They like, say that about sh shrooms? Like intense shrooms. Yeah. Really? Uh, a trip. I would just try therapy first before I go to shrooms. I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah, like if we're studying to get better at like school, if we're studying to like with a like a at the gym to like you know we work out with a a, a, a what do you call it a, a trainer <laughs> a someone trainer. hasn't gone to the gym in a while. i know i'm like what are those people that you were <laughs> a trainer um why aren't we working on our mental health like i don't get like they're called ding dongs important. by the way yeah. <laughs> ding dong ding dong <laughs> when you're true. lifting those ding dongs right <laughs> <laughs> why don't we strengthen our whatever, like, whatever our works for you works for you but, uh, no that's that's yeah, very true that's true that's life, true too but life. i say don't knock it till you try it life right. is like a meal you know and therapy is like a soup like sometimes you you think you might not need it you know what i mean some people don't need a soup to soften up everything else to chew and like digest chicken chicken soup for the christian yeah, soul but i'm just saying like it's like you know just don't knock the stew even if i think i yeah. could digest well without the soup once i tried the soup it changed my life. Rick used to read chicken soup for the teenage soul. It was like, the real thing's better. <laughs> Yo, Shit, this book man. needs more salt. <laughs> Yo, Shan, thanks for calling thanks in. Thanks for Appreciate calling, Shan. you. Thank you, guys. All right, bye-bye. Thank you so much. Right. I think not everybody, you know, I would say less people need therapy if they haven't been traumatized when they were young mm -hmm. or they've come from a household maybe where things were stable. But I want to say most people have not come from that household. Yeah, true. Or true. or that um, environment. Okay. That's, I think that's I think that's what it is. Well, but I would never judge a therapist based on race. That's not judging a therapist on race. They're just saying that they might have an experience. Yeah. If you say she's Korean and another person is Korean, yeah. they might have a similar upbringing or experience. There's cultural said, yeah. upbringings that are different too. Yeah. But Dati, you're on the Dati. line. Dati, Dati. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hi. What's up, baby? Dang, um, I feel like my question is gonna be kind. Of kind of dumb after hearing what you guys asked. <laughs> no, no, please. We need some dumb right now. You're like, uh, Flamin' Hot Cheetos or Doritos? <laughs> <laughs> Nerd rope? <or? laughs> What's up, bro? Nah, well, um, so after work, I like to wind down after hitting the gym, like watching a show and stuff like that. Mm. And I'm about to finish the Korean drama Vincenzo. I was wondering if you guys had any show recommendations to watch Yo, next. First it doesn't of all. had to be a K-drama, but... That Vincenzo thing, I always see the title and the cover and I skip over it because I hate how his face looks, man. But how was that show? 
It's pretty good, uh, in my opinion. Uh, one of the better Korean dramas I've seen this year. Really? Because uh, I remember the description was like, Korean, Italian, mafia. I was like, all right, bro. K-dramas to K-dramas. <laughs> we cover it all <laughs> right here. Everything. Uh, Welcome to Fun with Dub, baby. Of it is, um, he was adopted by a Italian family that mm. so happens to be in the mafia. And he grows up to be like this, like, contract killer basically and he comes back to korea for uh, another reason but i don't want to spoil too much okay this sounds interesting because I, I haven't seen an angle like that yeah you that know? sounds yeah. kind of crazy it, it's okay. pretty good like i was uh, i was iffy about it at first as well but uh after my cousin um recommended to me i was like no this is actually pretty good he's and like i had to yeah. My name is Jung Yoon Lorenzo. <laughs> <laughs> I am a contractor killer. Vincenzo uh, uh, Casano. That's his full name in the in the drama. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, okay. Yeah, I highly recommend intense. it. But I was wondering if you guys had any recommendations. I bet this me. motherfucker loves kimchi pasta, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a recommendation for you. Um, I May Destroy You. I May Destroy You. Yeah, is that on Netflix? It's or? on HBO. It's a really Max, big show that And has it's a, by uh, Michaela. She's a writer, but she, she did, acts um, in it as well. Uh, but it's I feel like this one's been like really good. And she had a show called Chewing Gum that was really funny, too. Mm. Oh, yeah, that yeah. is her. Yeah, I didn't her. even recognize that. Yep. But she's so good. She's at like this. a prodigy because she's like acts, writes, directs all all this. stuff. But the writing is so good. Like and um, I, I think you guys should check it out. It's from her perspective. And it's it's about a, a person that um, Gets d date drugged date date. Oh drugged, wow! Uh, yeah, what is date it? Rape? Sexually assaulted in a nightclub. That's what it is. And so, but then it goes into other people's like relationships with sex, um, and ha like the psychological effects of that too. So it's not it's not so it is very heavy, but it's also funny. She's hilarious. Like most of it is super funny. So it's it's right. it's a good watch. Yo, well, thanks for calling, Dati. Bro, see you guys next time. All right, Thanks. we got. Bye, Doctor. We can see. We We're almost nearing the end, guys. It's a long one today. It's good though. I don't mind it. I don't you mind. Do I mean? you mind it, Steph? I love it. You love it. Yeah. Can we eat after this? <laughs> I am hungry. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's keep it pushing, guys. What do we got? We can see, but we can't hear. We can. What's up? We can see. What's up? Hello. Three. Two, two, one. one. Back Blast to, off. We got two Changs. What's up? Two Changs. Oh. Two Hello? Changs. What's up, two Hi. Changs? What's this up, two baby? Changs, so guys. This What's two up? Changs, right, Alex? Yeah. Nice combo today besides the soup. What's up, two Changs? Yo, I, like I just wanted to break up the, the nice convo and talk about how uh, that white collar <laughs> got roasted by Dom. <laughs> So I wanted to share the one moment that Dom roasted me hard as fuck on his show. Yo, I feel like I got mad roasted on this episode, but go ahead. Uh, no, so this was like at the beginning of the pandemic, and this was on Dumb World. And I was living in a different place, and they were, and I was telling them, like, I don't, like, I ran out of food, and my whole street is blocked off, so I can't leave, and no one can enter, so I can't get delivery. Mm. And Dumb's on the couch, on his phone, going, damn. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Well, first of all, hold on. Let me clarify. It does suck. All right. <laughs> and I could, second of all, I might have been on my Postmates trying to order you something. Wow. How do you feel now, Two Changs? Uh, all right. He said Mike. That was a huge Mike. He's a huge, big Mike. That was a big Mike. But shout out to you, Dom, for uh, for getting your phone when you hung out with your mom. <laughs> Thank you. I know, I know. I need to do that. <laughs> he, he literally it. He belittled it. you. Yeah. Uh, great job hanging out with your mother who gave yeah. birth to you. Good job doing <laughs> oh what you were supposed to do, nice, you piece nice. of shit. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> well, how you doing, man? Everything good? Is there anything else you want to add to this? No, no, no. I just uh, wanted to call in, say what's up, and, and share that little story. That Ooh, Dati asked, but did he post me? <laughs> <laughs> did you talk? We'll, we'll get to change some postmates. We'll take we'll some get some Yo, thanks for calling in. Thanks, Two thanks. Thanks. Appreciate you. All right. Much love, guys. Be easy. We got I Quit Soda. Ooh. Hi, I'm I Quit Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Did, you didn't quit yet. I, I got till 12 a.m. You're going to drink tonight, aren't you? Are you going to drink with me? Just a send off, a quick send off, bro. I don't know. We'll talk about it. All right. I'll drink about it. All right. What's up, Sodes? 
<laughs> don't call him so <laughs> sorry Yo, i don't know why fuck? it's like <laughs> first time meeting this guy i call him so so what's up <laughs> Hey, Steffi, you look beautiful as always. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, st oh. <laughs> Steffi, man, come on. Right, thank bad, you. <laughs> Soda, man. Um, so I have a question for lyrics. I don't know if it's a touchy subject or not. I mean, Dave, but, I've already been know, touched today, so let's go. All right, for sure. So I hope I touch you more. So <laughs> <laughs> That got really weird for a second. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck were you talking about? And what the fuck was he talking about? All right, let's go. <laughs> Quit it, Yo, bro. So I grew up uh, listening to you and Manifest. I, yeah. I just don't know what happened to Manifest. So just wondering what your relationship is like with Manifest and how you guys are so far. Oh, yeah. I mean, Manifest. So we, we're, we were part of the Beautiful Cycle. We still are part of the Beautiful Cycle. He's considered family. He's, you know, like he's involved in a lot of the Yax projects. We always try to like connect him to it. But at that time, he found a wonderful, beautiful woman, his wife, uh, Val. And, you know, it, things just d things in life just kind of, you know, he always did music. But JL and I, we always like he won. You know what I mean? He found he found a beautiful wife that kind of pushes him creatively. And we we kind of like split ways. But we still make music together. We're just not a group, you know? That's why JL and I, I JL, sense. myself, Zoe, Manifest, we were all part of the beautiful cycle. And then we all kind of broke off a little bit. Dumb stole Zoe, Manny got married. And uh, yeah, JL and I, we still going. But he's in, he's, he's in the group through spirit for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Man, I have one other general question for uh, everyone. Sure. So other than Korean food, uh, if you guys have to eat one type of food for the rest of your life and alcohol and drink, right? Uh, what type of food and alcohol would you guys you know drink? I would say Mexican food or <laughs> Japanese food. Mexican what or Japanese? No. Fuck. Yo, no, he said other than Korean. Bra oh, mine's did, Brazilian or Japanese. Japanese is healthy, and it's like they have so many types of food mm. in Japanese. Food. I, that's what I'm saying. I would say like Mexican culture. or Japanese, other than Korean. That's what he said. And then alcohol wise, I'd say beer. Really, I just like beer. Okay, I would choose fruity juices from Brazil. F fruity juices—that's what it's called. <laughs> yeah, I don't drink. Okay, all right. I would dabble in the Italian and French cuisine, and I would drink tequila for the rest of my life. Wow, wow. tequila, tequila. Deep. You know what I'm saying? What would you do? Uh definitely Italian and whiskey. Okay, oh, all right. Okay, whiskey. or wine. All right. Thanks for calling, Sods. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. That was a fun question. Sure. Bye. Bye. Tear the deck. Tear the tear the tear the deck. Tear the deck. Tear the tear the dead attack. Steffi, go. Steffi, Steffi, go. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Go. Turtle duck. What you doing right now? Turtle duck. You calling into the show. Hi. What's up, guys? What's up, Turtle? The last uh, but not least. Of course. We got to end it with Turtle. Uh, and Turtle, right after this podcast, will be helping me with the flyer for the next Cry Later. I just finished assembling the final lineup. Ooh. This one's going to be crazy. And it's going to be May 28th. I had to push it Come back on. one. So May 28th, uh, next next Friday, will be the uh, Cry Later Sherry Cole is on it, right? Sherry said? Cole is I'm one excited of them. about her. I have, I I have a bunch. Of, so Jesus Treos is a hilarious comedian. Yo, He's on it too. Like that. I'm getting a little exclusive look into some of the comedians. You got Teddy Ray. Wow. You all know Teddy Ray? Come Teddy on. Ray is a hilarious comedian. TR? Dave, <laughs> got this one's Sherry mixed. I got Cola. I got man. I got just a, a whole cornucopia of flavors. Got a cornucopia. Cornucopia. Right. Yeah, what's up, Turtle? What's, what's up, on turtle? your mind? Looking forward to that. I like how you said that right yeah. there. What's up, Turtle? What's on your mind? Smooth. You hear me? Yep. Hi. Oh, yeah. So, um, dumb. So, on previous episodes, you've mentioned that um, uh, you keep, like, a collection of all the memorabilia from, like, your shows and stuff, right? Yeah, he has a lot. Is yours going like, in? Is that what you're going to ask if yours is going to go into this? Uh, no, no, no. Um, what I wanted to ask is, has... Has Dumb considered, or Dumb, have you considered um, writing a book, like kind of like a, kind of like you did the love stories uh, scrapbook? Mm. 
but like, the scrapbook and kind of like chronic like storytelling like bits and pieces about like all the shows that you've performed and stuff oh 100 not all the shows but i just want to have some kind of biography situation um because you know it's funny like now that i'm 35 years old at this age when i see my peers they're writing books <laughs> you know what i mean like right, right. i like i see like all my friends and stuff and like they're writing books and back in the day i'd be like damn i can't even imagine that it's kind like, of like an audio book you know it's hard no i don't know i want to like write a book i mean with somebody's help you know right. a lot of people who are writing these biographies they have like a writer person have a helping. Ghost writer. yeah they're like you're helping just kind of like sharing the thoughts sharing the thoughts writing. and you're still writing but you're still getting help for yeah. structure because you know i'm not like a writer writer but like I would love to do that. I'd yeah. love to like write a biography. I think I have an interesting story at this point and uh, to tell, you know. Um, so, yeah, I want to write. Yeah, that'd be great. I just read uh, "There's Not a T-shirt" to uh, Bobby Hunter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire, man. Yeah, there's a lot. You know, a lot of musicians writing. Michelle Zahner crying in H Mart. Joe Coy just dropped a book, Mixed Plate. Would I make it in your biography? Hell yeah, bro. Would I? You? I, I already wrote you into my show that I'm working on, Big Dummy. <laughs> Stay tuned for that. I have my character that I made for you is like a character that's like you and Wreck combined into one character. Got you, wow. Steffi too. You, you have a, something in there. Put you in there. Yeah. Wait, why did it seem like a pity? Thing? No, it's not. No, I have you in there. You're the important in your life. Uh, you are important in my life. Porn? Oh, important. <laughs> what the hell? No, no, no. Well, turtle. Um, anything else, bro? Nope. Uh, no, that's it. Yeah, just uh, yeah. I feel like you have a lot of like interesting stories to tell, a lot of wisdom to to give. So I I'd do, ask. man. I have a lot to get off my chest these days. I've been really reflecting on how I've lived my life, uh, what my life has been about, what this next chapter chapter is going to be about, and I've been thinking about all these things because there is a new chapter upon my life right now so i think it's going to be interesting to go into this chapter and i'm going to go into it fearless i'm going to go into it a lot more smarter a lot more open you know and i'm going to also salvage some of these relationships that i think i destroyed so uh thanks turtle duck have a good one <laughs> so, <laughs> so that was one text. takes his mom out <laughs> I look forward to it. <laughs> goes to ter therapy i don't know, I know. <laughs> Uh, thanks for calling Turtle, and I'm going to hit you up right after this. Well, that concludes a very, very that was a hefty, one. hefty, intense, hearty. Yeah, that was a hearty soup. That was a hearty right soup. That was, a, yo. that was deep as fuck. Uh, that was, was chicken soup for the dummy soul right that there. Was chowder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was a chowder for we sure. We might have to name this episode Chicken Soup for the yeah, Fun something. With, with Something Soul. Yeah, yeah. yeah dumb yeah. soup. Um, but thank you guys, everybody. And uh, thanks for all the viewers, listeners. Remember, as always, spread the word. Tell everybody. Spread the word. Hey, yo, spread sobriety. The word is cool man yeah we Sobriety. got so just to sum it up we got a one month challenge of rick he Not has just no drinking for yeah, one yeah. month and then steffi bake you have to write a 16 bar verse in one month mm. yep and yo whoever's drinking with me tonight in spirit let's get wild well, hold baby on. Hold on. Yeah. did did he not did we not do his thing with there's the no food? challenge right now no i'm sorry that's yeah. not how it works I'm Why? the one. I'm the challenger, sure. and we're the challenge you are the challengees. Yo, all right. Yeah, we'll, 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 yeah, we'll think about the next one. Okay. Yeah. But uh, and also, let's put up our PO box. We love to receive fan art for Rick. Could somebody draw Rick as an angel? That's something I wanted. Aww, yeah. I love. That. Hey, could we draw Steffi as a cupcake or like a rhyming machine? Could we put her in a hoodie and a microphone holding a yeah, microphone or want, something? Like that? Not a cupcake. I don't want a fucking Steffi cupcake. bake, bake sale. Bake okay. cakes. Right. Uh, cool, kinda, yeah, bake you know, goods. Kind of cool. cool Your IG is bake goods. All right. All right. Whatever. Any any reference we make on the show. Don't ask them. Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> don't ask them. They'll do it, bro. All right. All right. Yeah, all right. No, no. It. I'm just curious. Yeah. I, I want to have some fan art that reflects some of the Inside episodes jokes, we've had. You know, Inside jokes. Exactly. I like that. So put up the, uh, you got the address in the Discord. Um, we can also put the address one more time. Screenshot right now on the screen. Here you go. Screenshot right now on our stream. The P.O. Box is 941 South Vermont Avenue, number 44, Los Angeles, wow. California, 9000. Okay, that was cool. really good. And uh, tune in next week. We got, next week we have Wolf Tyler on the show. Woo! Wow. We haven't had a guest on the show in a few weeks, so that's stoked. And a week after that, we got Stevie Weeby. Weeby! Let's go, bro. Tune in so next weeby. week for another episode of Fun with Don Peace. Love